Welcome everybody to Soul Calibur 6 at Defend the North 2023. Welcome, welcome indeed. We are about to see my heroes play in this great fighting game and it is about to be bananas. I'm telling you right here, dude. Uh, you can just consider us Soul Edge and Soul Calibur, the dark and the light right over here. Or you can go by our official names, Time to Duel and... And the Houseman. Guys, I'm happy to be here. This will be my first time commentating Soul Calibur, but I've been watching it. I've been enjoying a lot of it. And honestly, you look at the top eight in front of us here, and it's a no surprise who's yes. up here. It's it's all the strongest players. You see Boom coming off of his second place, uh, uh, second Texas place, place at Texas Showdown. Yes. Uh, of course, in winner semifinals going up against Coffee. We're going to have Omega XCN going up against Incendiate, one yes. of the... Uh, I, I say younger, but he's been around for at least four years in the scene. Yes, this at least point. four years. So. He's transformed in more ways than <laughs> one, but Incendiate uh, has developed and grown to become the consummate professional at mm. Soul Calibur 6, especially. Yeah. He is the standard. I said off stream, he mm. is the Sonic Fox of the Soul Calibur community. <laughs> I don't like fair. to use other people's names as adjectives, but he is that good. But no, this I, first game, go ahead. No, I, I mean, no, I agree entirely with it. I saw some of his Geralt more recently, yes. and like, man, that character, he's been building up that character quite well and quite lovely. So, um, but yeah, I think right up ahead, we're going to be having right away uh, Coffee versus Boom, as mentioned. Let's Let's amend that. Are we going to be switching? Let's amend around? that because I see the the you look at the camera. This, yeah. So the players that I see right now is Sozo Leon, you know, with the white headset. He's the one on the right. Okay. And then the one on the left is actually going to be two swords. And get this, hmm. they both are Yoshi Mitsu proficionados. So that's what I see. So it seems that we are cycling towards our losers section. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to losers round one first. That's okay. It's totally fine. We're going to be going back and forth but you know it's yeah as I said this is losers Welcome round one uh if it is gonna be yoshi you, you think it's gonna you think it's, they're actually gonna go with the i yoshi think they're mirror? gonna do the mirror wow and if it is the mirror i think we are in for a very thankful match but i'm excited <laughs> but I'm, I'm excited to see what they go um, i was just playing sozo uh leon off off stream uh before to get his hands warmed up and everything mm -hmm. and uh, he's very solid uh he has a very fundamental approach to how he plays the game mm. uh and with uh two swords uh he's actually from the west coast he represents the uh, faustian team wow. uh, which is basically a a group of soul caliber six west coast players uh that go out and play the game he's up there with uh, outlaw who's like a proficient sick breed he's up there with toothpaste who's arguably the best, unbiased commentary, the, arguably the best uh, Huang you will see on that side of it if it's not Boom. Um, but uh, Two Swords has actually been the one that hasn't been traveled as much, but who's done the online, like Wednesday night fights, which he does exclusively uh, because of, you know, regional online tournaments and things. And he's placed very well. So I'm very interested to see this East Coast versus West Coast Yoshi Mitsu matchup. Hey. Shoutouts to him for traveling so far. I know he, he participated in the Street Fighter Six tournament as well. So he's been playing. He's been getting a lot of games in yeah. in his time <laughs> out here, which is good. You don't want to travel all the way and just play only a few sets. But um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this mirror match will go down. Is it as wild as people should expect it to be? It's definitely going to be wild, uh, given that these are two players uh, who feed into the Yoshi Mitsu style, which mm. is aggression which is a kind of a, like a semi, you know, like mix engine. You know, he's not up there with like as well, but like, you know, the, the mix between, you know, the hell sweep or the mix between, you know, the spinning mid is going to be great. And they're going to be starting up in a bit, a bit. They do the fist bump. We're going to get it started. First match of the stream for top eight defending North 2023 Soul Calibur Sticks. Let's get active, y'all. And as we start, we're going hopefully right we're going to be thankful for this meal. <laughs> as we go back into it, hit some. Hits him with the 4K, okay. Counter hit. Check with the AA juggle. Nice launcher off that. Okay, getting some good juggles, but you know what? The pressure just wasn't there. We're gonna God, go back and forth between these two very offensive styles. And as you can see, there's a lot of like similar like steps and mix-ups that they go for as you go for the block hell sweep. Punishes it with a hell sweep, unfortunately did not get the follow-up that he wanted. Um, as you're gonna see, this matchup is gonna be played tight amongst the two characters. And ooh, as he checks there, Sozo wraps up the first round off of that mid. Uh, what you're going to be seeing is a lot of tip for tats <laughs> into the commitment. Just zero fear on either side, wanting to be rushed down or in their face. I'm surprised uh, he actually didn't GI that follow-up right over there off of the launch. There's a little gap to do. Nice punish into there. The pseudo Brave is going to do that. 
Okay, yeah. Okay, he gets a little bit of meter for that punish counter hit. That's gonna give him a mix up. Goes for the low, puts him against the corner. Man, this corner is so good with so little life on his opponents, and there's just no way out. And that'll be another round. And the funny thing about that is when I said I played off air with him, this is the exact stage, my rate Soul. And the thing about this stage is that Sozo is very good at pressing them towards the, the walls and containing them very well. You see how he's containing Ooh. the back step, he's containing the side step very well, and he's get activating movement. That's when you use the Soul Charge. Yeah, he got it off me. And uh, that Soul Charge was a very educational one because that one was uh, used as a get off of me, of course. Uh, but it can also be used to quantify his amazing combo ability and mix up ability as he goes for the fake stance camp. Cancel. Soul attacks on you. Use once to use two bars. Ooh. And he's on top of it. Okay. Where are we going to land? No, we're going to wait. High. Okay. The natural air hit combo confirms into the mid for the first game. Hausman. <laughs> it was nice, I mean, like you said. Yeah. <laughs> Like, we're going to give you that. I'm glad chat is not the only one being like, we can do what? <laughs> oh, man. It's, you know, it's funny that you said the lockdown was there. Absolutely. I think you need to have that, even in the mirror match, if you want to win as consistency, uh, me, consistently as Lion did there. I got you. Um, but going into the second match, I think uh, two scores. I think he has a different style where more like Sozo is a bit better on the movement and more joint. You see now that a Two Swords is uh, disengaging, not trying to feed into the aggression that Sozo was putting on there. Oh, that's very unsafe. Don't go for that. Hit the four for and that's it. I like that sidestep there, showing that a little bit more mobility might allow for this lockdown to be not as strong as it was in the previous round. But we got the corner anyway, and we got the ring out! <laughs> You say that, but <laughs> but but no no. Here's the thing. Here's the thing um, that's so good uh, about this character and the way that Sozo uses it. Uh, his positioning awareness, especially mm. when he gets counter hits confirmed. Not like that, but like more ones that set him up for like wall conversions and corners and ring outs. Uh, is strong because it forces the opponent to utilize their movement options a lot more. Take risks like that. I don't think that Hell Swift has worked even once yet. Gets hit by the mid. Now you have to guess. Oh my god. Oh, he bucks the Oh, the punish doesn't get there. The whiff into the AA with punish into the seven words that no player in Soul Calibur wants to see. Perfect. Definitely won't, don't want to see that when it might be final game, final round, as it is right now. Right now, two swords just on the back end. This is the loser's side. If he loses this, he is out of the tournament. Yes. Nice check of the 3A. Uh, goes for the Brave Edge confirmed. Oh, counter hit launcher. Rise and beat. Mm -hmm. God, this pressure is just unrelenting. And I, I'm worried two swords is not even going to get another strike in before it's over. And that is it. Sozo. Taking it clean, clean. Like six rounds in a row. Yes. And the thing about those last couple of rounds, I was kind of questioning the use of meter from two swords. I believe, like in the first game, mm -hmm. there was the last round where he used two bars back to back in order to have soul charge. Of course, for the get off me, but in order to have access uh, to the, the the counter hit confirms off the soul attack moves that he can do. Mm -hmm. uh, but unfortunately, in that game, it doesn't seem like he was able to use uh, those sticks of butter, that resource economy, um, in order to capitalize on any sort of momentum switch, but. Even looking at that last second where the health deficit was like over 90%, like it was very hard. So I, I kind of understand in his mindset where he came from. Uh, but as we're coming back to it, Sozo will be advancing into the loser's quarters match. Two Swords will be having a nice trip home, top eight, but it'll stop here. Hopefully the Faustian crew will be proud of his performance today. Uh, but we are getting set up and I already see that we have two players who you and I would know, Thermidor being on the left. Mm. Thermidor is the nightmare player of uh, of nightmares. Um, <laughs> <laughs> for a worse time. Like, 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 like he's been doing it for a long time, does NLBC um, most of the time, if you see like all of his stuff over the years, uh, does online, does Madhouse, uh, does Kajur's uh, weekly Assault Copper 6 bracket, but on the right side, uh, the very fashionable young man that you see to you right there, that is Sane. Mm. And Sane is only one part of his name. The first part is in. He is in Sane with that Ivy that he is going to be picking up right on this screen. And this match is going to be uh, a whole lot of uh, disrespect uh, for both sides. Uh, so with Thermidor, 
Oh, there's gonna be if, if you call it, there's gonna be a judicious use of like AGAs, like the the, the, the Hori High that's like plus two on block, and that establishes a space where Ivy at a certain range is gonna want to back up and try to utilize her long normals and her to you know maximize. Yeah, but, but how much space is Thermidor gonna give Sane in that regard? That's true. Like Nightmare is you know might have a little bit of a problem in terms of his speed, but he's always gonna be approaching. He's always gonna be plus after a lot of these options. Yes, and. Really, how do you deal with that as a zoner if you are going to try to maintain that distance? You're going to have to be a little bit more adaptable, and hopefully Zane is up to the task. Going right in right away, but unfortunately gets launched into the sky. Not for a complete juggle, but oh my god, things are just not going Zane's way in this first round. Well, it's okay, uh, you give him just a little bit, he can take a lot of it. Goes from the launcher, confirms off of it. Mm, it's the wrong yeah. input right over there. I know he didn't want to get the long version of that, he should have went closer. Okay. Trying to get the space. Doesn't work out. Ooh, the uh, tech throw off the ground to confirm for the extra damage. This is going to reel him in. Knockdown. Now Ivy's at her range. But you got to make a Nightmare's approach difficult. As you see, it's death by a thousand cuts until they got close. Oh. Okay. It's the low. Now all he needs to scrap and get the whip punish again. Good stuff to them. Yeah, too little, too late. And you do see that Zane likes to close the gap occasionally, like right ahead, just knowing that he really can't keep out Thermidor right the whole time. He just wants to get in and then get out played. It's kind of hit and run style, which I like a lot, despite being the zoner archetype that you mentioned. Nice whip punish right over there. Okay, nice block off the mid. Ah, uh, that was very dangerous. So Zane has this tendency um, at specific times Nice AGI uh, to throw out, you know, his uh, command grabs, uh, Ivy special command grabs. Ooh, as we go for the SS. <laughs> God, this round and is he'll use it to check like opponent's movements, like they're approaching. Mm -hmm. We are getting dangerously close to the edge here. Thermidor tries to swing them off, but Zane counter strikes there. And very well done for a round two. That's the benefit of playing a range. Oh, oh my oh. goodness! He actually hit that! And, oh, okay, all right, he gets the impact counter. This is gonna be into the charge right over there. This is a super power character. When your verticals are the verticals they need to be. God dang, that had covers behind. The chip is insane. But we're kind of out of energy there. But no, we're going right back in anyways. Thermidor looking unstoppable. But Zane just challenges right away. Yes, Hello again. Oh, he went for it again, but the Soul Charge is going to push him backwards. 9K is going to steal the deal. I like it. I like it. Where you saw, like, the... You see how the start of the rounds get immediately explosive? That unblockable attack just completely caught um, mm. Thermidor off guard. He ducked it, but I think he, he quick rolls too quickly where he just got hit. Uh, but now he, he even as the same way, this round is getting very explosive. As it goes down to the lower life bars, it's going to get very slow because not one player is going to want to make the mistake to end that round for them. There we go. Command grab again. Yes, okay. And Zane, again, not afraid to go in when they feel it's the right opportunity. Thermidor now having to struggle with this low life, but still pushing them towards the corner, using the soul charge to actually push them even closer. Guard break, this is guard break. Yes, he's going to be putting oh. them out. That is going to be a ring out for no. the round and the game. <laughs> yeah, you have to think on that for a little bit. That now, don't think cool. on it too long because, unfortunately, it's just one of those things where we like to call a nightmare thing. Um, okay, immediately goes for the strike, and this is going to be Terra Charge. First start of the set, okay? Mm -hmm. I thought it was blocking the low, but he delayed too long. But the AGI saves the day, spins the Terra Charge. We are working both well in terms of spacing as well as life, but maybe gave Zane a little too much opportunity. And now we're at that range that you mentioned. Ivy likes to be at, but Thermidor closing the gap very efficiently, swiping away at the rest of the help. Stops right there in his tracks. Low. Oh, we tried to punish the low, the low attempt. And I've seen like I've seen Thermidor actually go for that Yomi attempt. Well he'll go for the crouch throw option because he's expecting the opponent to kind of like twitch duck because a low in that space would have killed there. Uh, but Sane actually standing strong in that defensive uh, process. I really like his decision not to be baited by, you know, just how low his life bar is. He plays to his own defense. Uh, that's gonna be a nice whip punish confirmed into the CS again. Oh, that's gonna be the SS! 
Not enough to kill just yet. Thermidor has never been one to be out with the low life, though. And we are dangerously he just, he close to the ring! Him. Get out of there, he <laughs> says. I don't know what he was going for because they did not hit counter hit, but that launched him out of the ring. <laughs> Soul Calibur is a fun game, everybody. <laughs> At least to spectate at the very minimum. We go. Thermidor right now is throwing out that drop kick of whips. Uh -huh. Okay, that's going to be doing a number on that guard gauge if he keeps blocking those like that. But that uh, stun he confirmed is going to steal the deal and do the slide switch. Is that going to be beat that? Oh no, I thought that was going to be an RI. And that was a resist impact. Zane would have had the reads. Oh Ooh. man. Miss Cleo wouldn't have nothing on him. I'll tell you that right now. Oh. GI. Okay, so and just doesn't deal with the mix up in we're, we're way too close to the corner right now, trying to hold, but I think Thermidor is coming nonetheless. You gotta think of his guard gauge as well, like he's only sitting on that mm. round, counter hit. Oh, wait a minute, Are That's we done? Hit. Are we done here? Uh, I don't know, Nightmare has Dammy, but I think this is gonna scale just enough for one hit. Oh, but deep what breaths. does he do? Deep breaths here. Insane. Say, Ooh. come on, bro. <laughs> come I mean, on. I mean, what do you do here? Well, he's fishing for something. Figuratively and literally. Okay. That's going into it. All righty. Ground pound from Thermidor. Oh, 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 he's close. Gets the, the counter hit kick. Step back. Okay. I got 30 seconds. I can kill. Only a real, only a real master. Only a real X master. Oh, and that is not oh, going to oh, do it. Oh, Run up 6-6 six, six K. <laughs> The, the real 6-6 six, six game. <laughs> oh my god. And Thermidor is going to advance in the round while Sane is going to have a respectable 7th place. Congratulations to both players. Yeah, as mentioned before, this is still losers round one, so that'll wrap things up there. Uh, we haven't yet gotten to the winner's semifinal side, so don't worry, we're not too far into the tournament as is into this top eight. Uh, there's plenty more to come. Uh, as if you're not already following on start.gg, uh, in winner's side we have MF Coffee yes. and DF Boom going up first. Uh, and then and next will be Omega XCN and Incendiary. That's going to be great. Now we're going into the winner side of things. We kind of flipped it for y'all. The first two games with the loser side of things. First, we had Sozo Leon uh, advancing in that spot. And then the other one, we had Thermidor advancing at both two O's. Yeah. And what's going to be interesting about this next matchup now is that Coffee, like I said, he is a cast of the online coming to the offline so mm. coffee had a very reputable victory over uh, ramon at his first major and then he's been grinding these online weeklies i've been saying and showing people that maxi Maxi's maxi characters actually yeah, you kind of <laughs> sneaked on them i know back in the day like early in season one like this, there was this guy rich sticks like he was high level um and i saw that but now coffee i think he's making the, i think he's bringing maxi back you know that like the justin timberlake song yeah maxi back. um but uh, there's also Boom. Like I was saying, I drove up here with Boom. So I, I'm just saying, he has this dynamic focus. Shout out to the sponsor, by the way. Um, he has this dynamic focus that just makes him so locked in uh, when he plays. And like I said, arguably, there was Toothpaste who was the best Huang. Mm -hmm. Why that's an argument? Because Boom. He's also in that conversation. I mean, if you were watching anything from Texas Showdown, it's obvious why he's in that conversation. There you go. The performance was spectacular, taking a lot of 2-0s, taking a, a lot of a really high placement in second yes. place there at a really competitive event. Yes. Um, so we're going to see if that can continue in our top eight situation here. Of course, we see Sophia on the right-hand side here. I think Boom's on our left-hand side, though, yeah? Now, if you look at it, um, it's definitely going to oh, be a maxi pick okay. for coffee. There you go. And I think Boom is actually going to make his selection over here, adjusting the buttons. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it was just straight up Wong versus Maxi. Uh, I think Boom would be more comfortable in that. I think uh, he likes the way that uh, his, from what he's told me, I think he likes the way that his buttons will work in the max up. Um, and it's probably to test the knowledge of coffee inside of playing that. Because like I said, besides the two individuals that say who play Wong regularly, there isn't a lot of that uh, meta play inside of the community. So we'll get to see the adaptations that win? I believe. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> This catches me off guard, so hmm. apparently Boom is going to make a hmm. time to go proud as he picks my favorite character in the game, Raphael, <laughs> as we go into this high button check, as we do it. I think <laughs> but uh, as, we're, as we're talking about it, uh, I think it's button check. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. If he would do, if he would have done that, though, that would have been, you got, been a schoolgirl. You got your man so excited. I was a happy schoolgirl at that. That's okay, though. That's okay, though. Um, 
he does this, uh, what he does is that he usually likes to do this for instant push, so he's testing like eye prep stuff just to know that his hands are kind of working out there, because Raphael's one of the execution characters uh, with his 4-6s and with all of his, um, his um, sharp inputs. Yeah. Uh, but with uh, Coffee, I think he's just ready to go. I think he's mad into it. Oh, yeah. Shoutouts to the old school button. Jokes. I, I respect it. Even coming in late to the FGC at the end of the day, I know we have the menu button checked. But at the end of the day, it doesn't. nothing feels the same as in-game. And you want to make sure that your timing feels precise and accurate, uh, especially when you're in these top eight situations. So I think things are settled down between both players. I think we're, we're feeling okay about how the game is playing, how the game is running, and how the buttons are feeling. So we will go back to character select and get things really going. Yeah, it's going to be great, though, um, as they start from it. So he had me excited in the first <laughs> It's, it's kind of like me where it's like, boom, boom is going to be picking Raphael. He's going to go crazy. He had this short step where, like, Raphael was a bit better than what he was toned down to. So he was uh, using the character a lot more. He did have, like, good results. But uh, mm. he, I think he's going to be sticking with his regular characters for today um, since they don't want to see me happy. <laughs> And uh, shout outs to uh, you guys in the Twitch chat right over there. I know Spectre Child's over there. I, we definitely would have saw Raphael. Uh, Spectre Child would have been. Uh, he definitely would have been. Some call him Hector Wild. You know, I like to call him. <laughs> I like to call him, you know, Raphael Daday. Um, that's going to be great, man. As you can see, we got Soul Edge on the screen and Soul Calibur on the screen right over here. Uh, we're very hyped for this dynamic. You can get it. It's a black and white joke. Uh, but uh, no, it's, it's going to be great. Uh, the, the, the sets there. are going to be great that we're having From up in. Shadows, and these players the are vying for an opportunity to be in winner's finals. Okay. Or to just be alive in our loser's quarters. Yeah. And again, we're on winner's side, which of course means loser goes down to loser's side. They will be having to square up against Thermidor. So yeah. uh, if you want to oh. avoid Nightmare for the time being, you're going <laughs> to have to win this fight. All righty. Well, depending on how this match goes, it could be a nightmare for either player. But like I said, I had the All character right. fixed back from the start. Round it is going to be Wong versus Maxi. Let's get into it. Okay. Going right into the spaces right away. Honestly, nothing too surprising from either side. But that is a good start from Poppy. Woo! The side start. Nice side step and go for the punish right over there, but that's gonna be the counter hit. Oh, beats it off of the whip throw. And there's something that Boom will do where uh, he'll throw out certain options early in order to test what type of defensive options you're going. So, oh, he catches it from behind. That was the button I was telling you about earlier, where it's very long, it will catch certain movement options where you think Maxi isn't in range, it will catch you backstepping, which he was doing in that step, and he was able to confirm for the game right now. It's so important. Yeah, between his button choices and the movement, right now, Coffee is looking spectacular, but Commentator's Curse is applying already. Boom was getting a good round start, but back and forth we go. Coffee feeling a little bit more of that momentum. Good guard impact, though. Stops it right there. The guard impact was a symptom of his good defense in that setting because he went for a reset. Mm. Um, and he was able to uh, block that low into the guard impact on the second low to get that free hit. Nice switch guard. Ooh, he got the first A, but didn't uh, do it for the second A. Interrupts the stance. Ooh, the critical edge. That actually caught <laughs> right over there. And that, I think, is going to do it. Play that fine music, sir. I love victory. Ooh, baby. That was a guess at the end there, but it paid off in space. But um, for you guys who aren't as enjoyed with the game or aren't familiar with the game, I know a lot of you guys play the game regularly. Wong is a character who you consider a glass cannon. So a lot of his mechanics and what he does so has talisman transitions. And that will allow him to get special abilities. Um, and if he does spend them, it's actually going to deplete his health in the left round. Boom! However, did not spend much of that, so it's just negligible, so they look even. Mm. Right, especially now that the C is going to hit for a second time, not so even. Oh, that's dead. Easy, easy. Two for two on the CEs. This victory is for my homeland. My man is spending his resources very efficiently in that. You, wait, 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 you heard that, guys? You heard that switch chat? He said <laughs> this victory is for his homeland. He's doing this for Maryland. Oh, I'm sorry, I had to get one of those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's working it right now. Goes right in. Maxi right now. Trying to get back a little bit of that momentum that we saw in the first round. But really, these big damaging options from Boom are proving a little difficult to handle. Boy, Wynn is able to prevent him from uh, doing any reciprocal. He whiffs. Ooh, but he checks the options. He was respecting the yeah. possibility for a GI off of that immediate check. Oh, what? <laughs> the RI covers the backside. Yes. 
So he went for a back throw, which uh, normally isn't techable unless you're after off the ball, though, which is a great option because it would it's the most damaging throw it could do, and it's untechable. But that all right completely mitigated that and made him get that round. Like, I, want, gonna check him. I want insurance coverage like that. That was <laughs> that was gorgeous to say the least. But we are down to the final bits of health on both sides on this final round of game one, going right into the critical edge. Blocks it well enough, but not able to follow through with any offensive push. And Coffee able to take a tight Coffee round five. Read on that Ukami was godlike. And he confirmed <laughs> from the game. Good on them. He's going to be taking the first match. And like I was telling you, you guys pay attention because we all know Coffee at this point. It's a high-level top eight player, and it's been grinding for a minute. But with Boom as the veteran, like I was saying before, now you're seeing kind of the evolution of the younger player base, of the new player base, the players where it finally clicked that day, and you're about to see it evolve right here. Oh, as he catches him off the uh, lethal hit, stun hit. Again, tried to go for that reset right over there, but Boom is not having it. Checks him with the A. Yeah, beautiful sidestep there. Creating a nice amount of pressure there, but it's challenged actually on the wake up. Maxi trying to build something there, but again, the side step shows off the back. Guard impact to save that last bit of life and maybe build something from there. But good call out, and that'll be round one. So I think I would like to notice, um, especially Boom is very proficient at his whip punishes. Mm. However, Maxi has certain options off his constellation stances uh, to go into GIs. And he has certain moves that he can do. So mm. certain times you want to not overextend to get counter hit because Maxi will generally smoke you for those. Um, so if you see that he's a little bit apprehensive because he's waiting, that is because. See? Looks like stuff like that. Yeah. And that apprehension does that. That's mm. going to be the juggle. Go into the wall. Wall splat. Do it again. Oh no, he didn't get it like he did. Oh god, did it land? No. <laughs> so it was the GI window when you saw the screen freeze. Uh, but that hit one more time. And because of the guts, it is going to seal the deal. Two rounds up for Boom. But that is not unlike what we had in our previous game. This is... I, I want to say that Coffee's still putting up a good fight, but it's 2-0 in terms of the rounds going on so far. All right, let me tell you this. If anybody can wake up and smell the coffee, it is that MF. Er, right there. <laughs> mm. Right now, MF Coffee not doing well in this final round of game number two. Losing so much life, and that'll be a quick 3-0 for I game number two. I dig it. As you saw, Boom cleaning it up, keeping the play tight, not getting fooled by the gimmicks, doing the proper whip punishes and having a gauge where he wants to press. The no round round was hella impressive, but this is when Coffee is going to have to do the adjustments in there. Hits from the first whip punish. Nice GI. He's, he's really proficient on the GI reads. He knows that Boom wants to hand the aggression. Yeah, honestly, that last game just could have been a little bit more feel out in terms of how Boom wants to make their approach. And it could be the deciding factor in this final game. Okay, the regular throw is going to do it. Okay, that's going to be the counter hit. That's going to do all the way to the corner. How's he going to control the position? Go to the mid. Oh, that's a whip punish. Hey. Um, okay. Into the two egg home. Do it. I dig it. <laughs> and I saw you had to take a breather from there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I have seen yeah. a lot of business going on. I love how Boom is rotating his stance options from there. Um, is he gonna see, you see he's getting hit by a uh, lightning strike and then uh, roaring winds. Um, and the meta behind that is that uh, you can certainly do an option to defend those. Or if you want to do like a, a GI option, you know, a uh, lightning break attack is going to be that. Oh, actually punishes him with the whip punish. No, there's not a follow up after that. Okay, tries to challenge, but with such low life, really, what is this the This GI presence is amazing! Uh. That's gonna go through the wall, bust out. Oh my god, he's gonna walk flat! Is he gonna yes, ring him? Yes! <laughs> wow. And that's how you make a comeback. You wanna talk about robbery? Just shove the man off the stage. He said, Walt, so I'm uh. using my words, ring out. I knew from there he was gonna confirm it to the end of Ice Duck. Shring right uh. to the phone. All right, goes to the low to check the Oki. Blocks the second one, though. Ooh, that's going to track off of that string. Uh -oh. Yeah, definitely want to sidestep. Do not want to get ringed out in this final, potential final round. But yeah, we're going to get the right hit here. We're going to go straight into the cinematic. Easy kill from there. I feel like we've seen this CE more than I've seen my brother in six months. That is awesome, bro. That is awesome that we're getting to see this high move close out so many rounds. It's definitely Bloom's favorite way to end out the round, and I don't think it's just for aesthetic reasons. I think they really choose their timing well and uh, are just able to land it consistently. What is consistent, though, is this potential That's a ring out. out. That's a ring out. That's there we go. And coffee. 
is gonna be moving on in our bracket to winners finals doing the dang thing against boom who had a very good match literally went close game one and game three and then that second game just smoked them and then here's the thing about coffee that i really like mm -hmm. he has an ability very rare amongst players like incendiate uh boom even uh some of the other like high level players where the the adaptations is instant mm. and when the adaptation comes you, you don't take the loss heavily on the chin yeah. um, and i think that's important as a a, a fighting game player professional player uh, because you got to be right back into that mindset of choices soul caliber is a game of so many decisions yeah. um, that will go to that but let's decide how we're going to feel about this upcoming match uh, who we got okay we got omega xcn and incendio coming up right now uh, Incendia, of course, uh, local of the area. Uh, you said the Sonic Fox of this this <laughs> game, and that, that's the, that's big praise yeah. Uh, yeah. going on to anybody. But I, I, I understand the praise. I've been seeing the Geralt uh, play, and honestly, they're doing something with a character that I don't... I, I feel like we just... I, at least, wasn't seeing at such a high level. Yes. I wanted to, I wanted to let you guys know, um, like that last match, when I had said like the mindset to have the instantaneous adjustments. Mm. Uh, We're going back to coffee there. Yeah, the coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inversely, in this match, okay. Uh, Omega XCN, who I've been following for some time, once he has a, a read on the opponent, he's able to prey on that. But the opposite is of uh, once he feels like the opponent gets a read on him, uh, they can placate to that a lot. He's somebody who wears his heart on his sleeve. Um, and if you have a, uh, an opponent who has a read on that, like who smells the blood in the water, they will definitely sink their teeth into there. Now, let me get you a little behind okay. history on here. Okay. The important history thing with, uh, between these two players, Incendia mm -hmm. and Omega XCN, Incendia don't like playing Omega XCN. <laughs> I just said, Incendia <laughs> is the Sonic Fox of yeah. the Soul Calibur community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The top dog, the guy that's been winning everything that everybody wants to be. But one of his demons in bracket is Omega XCN. Mm. He don't like him some Taki. I'm telling you right now. Was, and you guys don't want to miss this because this match, these their matches are always hype. Whether it's Combo Breaker, uh, whether it's CEO, whether it's you know your mom's house, whether it's you know at the crib, whether it's outside you know, defending North Becky on the street, you guys are gonna see a good amount of Soul Calibur play from these two. And there's also love, but in the game they're gonna want to kill each other. But there's also love. Absolutely. I now does it come down to you think the character or is it really player v player? Player v player. Yeah. Now. Character-wise, because I know Insimiate's rogues gallery of characters, he, he's usually flexed the girl, uh, but he also has access to an Ivy and access to a Shawn The thing about that with Taki is that Taki is so versatile and is so good up close with her mix and her buttons up close, mm. uh, is that with Geralt, if she's in there, you gotta take a race. You gotta do like a year in, or you know, you gotta do like a movement option. Um, but he's generally slower. With mm. Ivy, once she's in there, like it's extended pressure. The it's slower. Shagwa has comparable Witcher. frames and comparable range, but <laughs> Taki has better moves. All right, and, we'll he's, the... and he's most proficient in, in the Shangwa when it plays to instant strength. So as you can see, they're playing from outside. So what Omega is going to want to do is try to approach responsibly as he does with the AB strength. And what Sim is gonna want to do is like control like range one to two a lot more because he can't compete from there. Oh, gets counter hit on the uh, attempted launcher. Oh boy, dangerously close. Tries to sidestep to avoid oh, gonna hit the a ring out. Mechie. It's a lethal hit ring out and avoid, which was what he did not do. Yeah, <laughs> he tried so hard, but in the end, didn't matter. There's the break. Ooh, a little bit of awkward interaction there. But you know what? Incendiate was ready for the pickup, not ready for the follow through, though. Oh now, God. that would normally hit and like do a whole bunch of damage, but he was just out of the range for that as he goes to the ender. Nice launcher. And it's going to be a knockdown. Float avoids it, but he's really ready for the punish. Two A is going to interrupt the stab two times. Oh, he's going to counter hit. E does not hit. Good okay. challenge. Eyes receptions. The BB is going to chase that, and he's going to do the Hori in order to catch him. Trying to move to the side. Good stuff from them. Very solid, small caliber. Yeah, and you know what? Honestly, at the end of the day, you did see uh, Omega slowing down just a little bit when they were at such low life. And maybe that life lead is all Incendiate needs. He needs those big opportunities from the get-go just to slow down Omega just a little bit. 
It definitely could be do that because he can maximize off of the space this ring applies to him and he can like make approaching difficult. Um, but I do see that Omega, because he's in, he wants to stay in and make up the life bar. There's a potential for him to overextend here. Where he's getting hit by a lot of two A's while rising these. Okay. Rather unfortunate. Well, there's another round under their pocket. And right now, honestly, you know, might oh, be time. hit instantly. Oh. That CE does not hit. When he went for that 6B read right over there, that was crazy. And that's going to be, you see how much damage that did? In the game, I think that's like the most damaging CE when it hits wrong. It certainly <laughs> looks it right now. And right now, we're going to have to recover from that mental damage. But it looks like it's not going to be happening. This round almost looks locked down. Oh, Incendia gonna try to challenge, but no momentum on their side. Beautiful sidestep from Omega. From the stance right over there. Uh. Ooh, but the immediate knowledge to know that he should duck that string, but the immediate uh, sidestep from there was very good. Very tricky. This is why Incendia doesn't like playing this character, because he's very researched and he knows strings very well. But when it comes to a character like Taki, Taki is designed in order to like play with the player's knowledge a lot. Where simply you cannot just check everybody with two A's and just know, hey, I know how to defend against this string of moves. So oh. Copper is more than that. It's the Mechie goes into there. Transition. He's going to go for a mix-up. Wait a minute. Quick throw off of the close tech. I'm glad he stayed on the ground and rolled away. Okay. All right. Gets that power up. Rev those engines. Oh, mm. one punish from the bubble. Big opportunity lost there. There's okay. the counter. Oh, there's a counter for a self-juggle. Okay. Sound is soul charge right now, but here's the risky part. Now he's going to get the hit. Now he can go into his soul charge. And launching moves. Very nice. Oh my goodness. He cut the combo short so he can go for the launch reset and then get the CE. Now, in that scenario, you can continue the combo and then what you use as what's known the Silver Sword, which in this game, you know, it kind of to the lore, you know, it works more like, you know, the demons of the world and everything in the Witcher universe. But um, to the lore and Soul Calibur, Geralt could actually use that to kind of get more damage off of characters that were in Soul Charge State. But he said, I didn't want this skill combo, and he went for the reset for the down combo off the launcher into the CE. Optimal stuff from him, I like that. Yeah, it was certainly a right choice there, giving him game number one. Demons might be overcome in this swarm. Oh, but a big whiff punish there. It's crazy for you to even say demons because I, you, like I said, you look at us and like as the odds-on favorite, but against this player, it's just been crazy. But not looking too well in this round. Has to take a risk. Oh, but the whip is gonna work. He cancels into that stance, and that one kind of works as a pseudo armor where it absorbs something, and then he's able to go into that move in order to, you know, go as a pseudo whip punish. Uh, not enough there as he's able to check the movement with the AAs. Okay, now that we're stepping each other, held for the guard. GI to counterattack. He just bites. He's doing a re GI. Alrighty, despite taking a good first round, Omega was definitely stopped immediately at that close range. They're trying to find a way to challenge here. Incendia at least getting good damage here and there. No significant amounts done just yet, but using that armor that you mentioned to try to go in. Okay, that was kind of from the Kemi Trap, so that damage is going to scale heavily right there. I don't know why he was trying to avoid that. Oh, all right, and the Wild Rising BB is going to be taking that. And one of the things I'm noticing that's better with Insignia, I think, that's taking advantage of Omega's willingness to want to get in is that there's a lot of just check moves, like 2A, AA, like, like one Hori mid that he's throwing out, uh, 6B that's very good, which is just chipping at his health a lot. I think if he would slow it down and like just get a read on what how he wants to defend himself, uh, I think it will allow this small damage, like it's going right now, um, from affecting him. That's unfortunate, really. Ooh, okay. okay. Soul Charge goes in, which is going to make up the life damage if he gets one more confirm off of it. No, he's not. Yeah, just ran right into that fire there, and it's going to be tough as we're on a potential final round of Game 2 here. Uh, and good for them in Soul Calibur when the opponent, when your opposite opponent is winning, uh, they actually get a uh, meter. Okay, but he gets the confirm right over there. Now he's sitting on two sticks up under. How will he use? Very risky wake up. Why did he do that? Oh my out? god. Focus. Not quite yeah, yet. Use one of those. Uh, but who knows if it's going to be well. Now he has to figure out his approach. Ducks the. Ooh! He called it out. He called it out, but specifically he was too late and it actually hit him. Break attack, Taki. It's crazy. Oh, oh it even happened twice. again. That was so hype. But he ducked into the immediate CE. Oh, yeah, this is going to kill. This is going to kill. This is going to kill. This is going to kill like Uma Thurman. Oh, man. Damn. Never find a 
All right, y'all better clip that because that was possibly the moment of the tournament there. So much happening in such a small period of time, but at the end of the day, Incendia is able to take it 2-0 over Omega, but don't let the score fool you. That was a tight set. That was a tight set. Yeah. And I want to tell you what, Incendia, he has been trying for a long time to have that type of result <laughs> with Omega in tournament. And today, he's had that result. I'm guaranteeing you, he got off the stage, he's happy, but his heart is going. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, he man. gets to rest for now. He's now sitting comfy in winner's semifinals. But or excuse me, winner's finals. He's just gone past that. I have nothing else to add from that, but we do have ads coming up on the screen in a bit. Uh, you guys stay well. We are going to pay some bills at the office mm -hmm. <laughs> provided by the stream of Lunar Phase. We are going to get some. Yeah. Speaking of which, Lunar Phase is, of course, the stream you're watching right now. Uh, one of the streams of Defend the North 2023 hosts monthly events in New York City for French Bread, SNK, and Arxis games, as well as, of course, the ever popular Street Fighter VI. So make sure to tune in, and if you're not already following, please do. All right, and we also got Uptown Gaming. It is going to be casual and competitive gaming company opening a new venue in Uptown New York coming to the summer of 2023. Weekly tournaments, live streams, casual events, DJ performances, and more to come. Check out the socials below for more information. And also shout outs to Checkmate Showdown, one of the sponsors for this weekend. An online multiplayer strategy fighting game mixing tactical elements of chess with the precise execution of fighting games. Has online multiplayer and rollback netcode. Make sure to add to your wish list now on Steam because the closed beta is in late August. Follow on Twitter at checkm 8 showdown Now, you guys, are y'all ready to get to the next level? Well, you can do it right here at the Next Level Battle Circuit, New York City's premier fighting game venue, home of the Next Level Battle Circuit weekly tournament series for Street Fighter VI and Guilty Gear Strive. It also sells Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, and other trading card games and supplies every Wednesday at 8 p.m. All righty, and make sure to support everything here. We got the match arena going on for this tournament. If you haven't already, Look in the chat and you'll see the link there. You can make sure to contribute if you have any spare change of your own or make sure to use those free codes. You can just sign on, make sure you have your account set up on Mancherino, then click the claim bu uh, code button right there and 25 cents will go to the prize pool. If you want to make sure that the players here are getting a beautiful payout, feel free to contribute yourself or even go into the sponsorship quest below. Alrighty, now we gave from that. Um, I'm excited, man. We've seen <laughs> a, a, a decent amount of calls. Some some calls you could have made where you could be like, yeah, I could see them advancing. And Syndiate being one of those players, Thermidor being one of those players, but then also some surprise some ones. For me, um, there was also uh, Coffee making it into where he's at, but he's had a wave of moments in that time. Yeah, you wouldn't call it surprising, but nonetheless, like uh, the fact that he's sending Boom down, he had yes. to go through Boom yes. to get into that spot yes. is Notable, statistically significant. <laughs> but right now we're going to be seeing Boom try to continue surviving in this tournament as he goes up against Thermidor. All righty. And, and I've seen, like, certain, like, NLBC events where, like, Boom has, like, took the trip to, like, New York and was, like, he's played Thermidor and it's a bit sweaty. Uh, he kind of, he kind of, he's one of the better players when it comes to uh, containing a lot of what Thermidor wants to do and using his movement to kind of force, first of all, force Thermidor to realize that he's overextending. And then forcing Thermidor to like realize that like okay I can't overextend I have to be more patient and then he's he's suddenly in here pressing buttons in your face chipping mm. at your health so uh, the attack that Boom he stylizes his play off of even though he claims it's not a play style his style is that he prevents <laughs> his opponent from having fun um, and basically he's fluid in that sense he is a hourglass but you know he's a cup it's basically like how Bruce Lee said you know to you know be water, you know, you could become the cup, you could become the hourglass, you could become the bottle. Uh, mm. That's how he wants to play fighting. Uh, now, we're getting into I, I believe this is going to be a button. Yeah. Yeah. Just to make sure, once again, again, honestly, I remember back in the day, I think it was even when SF5 came out, where people were groaning the button check and, you know, saying, oh, it's in menu. 
again, if you have the opportunity to do so, take it. Just like you should take this opportunity to check out the Fixed Match Arena code there and make sure oh, you're please, supporting dude, please, the tournament. Dude. Yeah, I know we were having a little bit of issue with the link before, but the Match Arena is there now. There you go. As we get in button checks, um, it seems uh, they're comfortable now. They're ready. And uh, for you guys in the Twitch chat, uh, that is Street Fighter VI player Boom, yes? The reason why they're saying that, I don't know if you saw it earlier, uh, he actually beat IDOM in Top 48. Get in out. Side. Yep. I haven't been following Took him out of winners. <laughs> Holy cow. He hit the hey, hey, hey. And then he. No, it was DJ. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. That's As you what's can gonna say, happen. Boom knows how to pick him. Boom knows how to pick him. Boom oh, knows how to pick those big damage characters, man. <laughs> he knows how to do it. Uh, let's see if he can make some damage to this match over here. Going as it is, I think, is he uh, Is he going to do it? Is mm. he going to do it? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're locked in. Wait a minute. Hold on. Spectre Child is in the Twitch stack going crazy. Hold on. What are we doing now? He's actually going to commit to the Raphael. This is not a drill. Players are looking calm right now on the camera. This is a legit match we got going on. Okay. Going for the 1K. Ooh, does not get the uh, I prep for 6 as he wanted for the pressure. Okay. 6 and K is going to do it. Go for the combo. Ooh, does not get the prep BBB string. Yeah, but that's not going to slow Boom down at all. Still poking away, still doing good amounts of little damage here and there. And honestly, Thermidor has just gotten nothing started in this entire round. Mm. Unfortunately, he did not get the uh, uh, combo that he wanted to do mm. on that. With uh, Raphael being an execution character, a lot of the stance things that you want to do. Ooh! A nice timing for Thermidor in order to choose that, because he has of course to be a prep. Nice! Uh, as a character that I do play, like, actually, um, the, the thing with Raphael uh, is that if you have, like, your 4-6 eye prep stuff, maneuvers ready, and then you have your execution ready, uh, it's very helpful for him to uh, keep that pressure going because he can put himself in a lot more advantageous situations. Now, if you commit to it on block, there are options for you to kind of mitigate that with, like, quick parade and, like, certain stances, but uh, it's going to be difficult if the opponent knows. As he knows right there, the 9-9-A uh, is going to be whipped from that second hit. Nice! for a b into the combo. Good As Lord. he goes for your uh, B2. This combination of speed and range has been spectacularly working against Thermidor's kind of slower character here. Yes. So that's why he chooses this matchup, because he wants to take it a fact to the fact that Raphael is a faster character. So a lot of the buttons that he wants to do off of he gets this punish confirmed, it's going to take advantage of that. Ooh, he should have did the BB continuation off that. Let me not say it. Let me not say it. But that was good. That was good. I think he just got a haircut from that. Horizontal. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. <laughs> but that's why he chooses the characters for it. Oh, the back throw is going to do a brick. And it's going to give him Oki. 2K. Whip. Ooh, not enough for the whip punish. 6 is going to interrupt. 9K is going to take off the 1K. Ooh, the clash off the AGA. It's going to give him a free A. 2A is going to check him. 9K again for the Ukemi Trap. Goes into the Terra Charge. Ooh, the throw doesn't connect. Ah, and he takes him out of the 4-4-A. Four, four, Good lord. I kind of like this higher read base play from Thermidor going on right now. Really calling out all the obvious styles that Boom wants to go for with this character. This is, I can kind of agree. Okay, text the forward throw. You got to try it once. But as you can see, this guard gauge is going to be a huge problem for him, especially in round four. But the, uh, but the juggle slump off of that is going to put him in the... Ooh! Ooh. My god. It's now it's time to play Sagem's favorite game. Oh, this time. Oh, it is! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. That's all I have to say. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's Sagem's favorite game, I told you. <laughs> oh, my God. At least, you know what? Rounds are now evened up, and the matchup looks far more even than it did at the start of this game. Has to go into it. Mm. Okay, early soul charge. Gonna be using the meter in that sense. He has another brick to spend. While Thermidor only has one soul charge, he has two, but not gonna be able to use it as much. Commits to the B. Okay, now he's gonna use that bar right over there. This is gonna be very important what he does in the last couple of seconds. Pushes him back. That's a counter hit, confirm. Ooh, did not get that last prep. B, B, B straight. But he's gonna use the second bar now to get the advantage. Ooh, but he doesn't block the center with a B option. So much blocking having to go on if on that Thermidor's combo side. If that combo would have been completed, we would have been the end of the game. Oh, oh uh, we are in a tense situation in. now. Oh my god. One more mix up, and he's done, and he gets the count in, but he doesn't confirm! Moment of silence. <laughs> 
moment of silence. I know you guys see this stream right now. So Boom is actually giving the face of. Oh, <laughs> now that face is. I shouldn't have won that. I'll be honest with you. That face uh, is. I shouldn't have won that. <laughs> and I don't like how that went, but I like that I won. <laughs> That's the win. You go. Wait, can I do character select? Can we? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I'm not allowed, but can can <laughs> can I change character? Welcome to the stage of so what happened basically in those last couple of sequences is that Boom actually had the kill combo off of the wall, but it's been a consistent thing with the the six six B counter hit follow up where he can get the A B prep, but the B B B that he was trying to do he can't actually hit that. The timing is different from certain weighted characters, and he has to figure out that timing with that. Um, so it's actually like kind of inhibiting him from actually closing out these games a little bit less scrambly. Um, yeah, I mean, risk reward is still definitely a factor if you're not getting the full reward okay, against a character like Nightmare who will decimate your life with every hit you take. It can even out, even if you're getting more strikes on your end. Let's see what the sidestep works. I like how he chose that spring specifically to blow the reversal edge option. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, Ooh, and he gets hit with it. He's probably blocking low. Okay, he gets the terror charge for him. 2K is going to put him on the up and up two times. 2K, 2K. Nah. Oh, good block at the end there, but yeah, too little, too late. It was actually nothing he could do there because uh, that that uh, reversal edge would have been a break attack, and he has no option to beat that break attack. Oh dear! Nice awareness from him. Nice guard impact. Yeah, he's gonna go for that lethal hit again. He notices that Boom is not interacting with the guard impact, the re impact, or the reversal edge, so he's going for that confirm. Just for the meter that he has right now, because he has two sticks of butter, but he's also going for the confirmed damage, of course. Yeah, right now, if you're Thermidor, you don't really have oh, to spend It's going to be Shadow Baby. He's going to take him. Oh, the reset. Nice focus. I got to think uh, the execution is a huge thing that's hurting him. It's just tough. It's looking tough right now. Two rounds under Thermidor's belt. Boom at least has a game in his advantage, but it's only it's first to two, and then you're out. The main thing I think that's really costing Boom as far as, you know, extending uh, his, his life lead, which is going to extend, you know, the way that he likes to play neutral, is that he's not getting these confirms. This execution character um, that I don't know if he's been practicing is really costing him on the optimal combos he's trying to do. As he avoids it, but still gets hit, and that's going to close out the round. No round bound for Thermidor. I don't Ooh, like it. Oh boy, yeah, we're going right to character select. Yes, I, I don't like it because it's, it's a first to of two. Of and with Boom, I like the idea, the theory, because Raphael's a faster character. He has like these weird like range buttons where he's he plays up close, mm -hmm. but he has long, longer, faster normals at like a range one, like close between range one and range zero, mm -hmm. between Nightmare and Raphael. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's also like his slight repostle, his uh, his uh, evade, uh, which he can use in certain strings with Nightmare to kind of like close the gap or take advantage of the gap. But now he goes into another close range character, a faster character, which is going to be Yoshi Mitsu, um, hopefully a which doesn't need as much execution. Yeah, I was going to say, hopefully a character he can just get more damage off of in the right situation. And right now it's looking pretty good so far. Big whiff, no big punish though. That's right through him. Off the mid. Ooh. Good okay. block. The reverse edge is going to do that. What's the option? He got the block. He tried. <laughs> he tried with the reversal edge. It just didn't pay off. That's the risk you take. But I see the strategy. Boom is... I will say he doesn't have a specific style, but he is methodical in how he picks. His character picks are really educated. He went from one character that had the same advantage, like I described before, to another character, but with less of the execution woes that were getting him, because a lot of the execution was costly in the game. As he goes for the terror charge. Yeah, it stays nice and pretty there. Low life. Honestly, this round almost flips entirely in Thermidor's favor, but we're making progress slowly but surely. Ah, but that one kick will do it. Very good. Okay. Contains the step. This is gonna slack now. Ooh, okay. That's definitely gonna be a win punish. Okay, go into the ground. Okay. Nice sidestep. He's gonna go into the punish again. Let's go back for two. Oh, and he blocks the hell sweep. That's gonna be the terror charge. Nice optimal play. As you'll see a lot, he'll go into that stance because he wants to get the uh, corner carry off of a certain counter hit, um, which is gonna be very advantageous for his position, but not there. Yeah, the movement so far has been really good in giving. And that's yeah, that's minus 20 on block. That's a punish. Damn. 
Can be commits right. to that string in total to kind of try to uh, get him in between the string. Uh, he has a free punish right over there, which I'm glad he took advantage of. All right, Thumbador knew the risk, but uh, he was willing to juggle that option. Chat, it's set point right now, and uh, Boom is just looking to take out Thermidor from the tournament. Big sidestep again! Gets him a good amount of damage, but thankfully things are even from the earlier damage done by Thermidor, who has him now in the corner, and he just launches into the ring out! That's just it! I like his awareness over there. That was godlike. Mm. Okay, 2A. Get to check the movement. Hell sweep off of the back step. Okay, now he's not going to have bar for a minute. Okay, counter pop for counter pop. But Boom is positive by one bar. Okay, was not a counter hit confirmed, so he didn't get the full combo. When he goes into the reset sweep, alrighty, what's in the mix? He goes into the sweeping. Oh, that's going to be eight. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Man could have died there. Okay, he could have died. He could have <laughs> died. died there. On both sides. Oh. oh, but the sweep is gonna do the deal. You saw last time how he committed to the uh, helicopter string from there, yeah. and he did the GI for the ring out in the last game. Then he did the GI in that setting, and he went for the low from the delay. That was very good awareness from Boom, remembering that, yeah. and took advantage of Thermidor trying to use that as a tool again. Well, very well done from both sides, honestly. I Incredibly need some water close after that. Set. Yeah, you gotta give your voice a bit of a rest there because that set is only the first of this Losers Quarters Finals that we have going on here. Uh, Thermidor did their best, unfortunately is out now of the tournament. Boom will be moving on into Losers Semifinals. Uh, but up next, we should have Omega X CN versus uh, Sozo. Sozo. Yeah, that's gonna, Sozo Leon is gonna be playing against Omega, and it looks like it's going to be another Yoshi on the screen with Taki. Now, I've seen these players like play against each other before, a uh, combo breaker recently, um, Sozo, I'll tell you this, I didn't get to talk about Sozo as in-depth as I wanted to earlier, but okay. uh, a lot of these players do have interesting stories. Mm. So Sozo's story is that he is, like I said in this bracket, one of the competitors that hasn't had that big, big tournament victory that he can put on his notch, very similar to Omega, um, mm. and to say, hey, I won this here. He's won a couple of onlines, you know, he's won a couple, you know, a lot of top player versus sets, and he's respected as a Welcome top player, to but as somebody, I think, who has something eight. to prove in this bracket, who's still alive, in this bracket, he's definitely the last vestige of that. Uh, and it's a, it's a, I guess for me, a heartbreaker to see the both of them do that because only one person has to be on top. Um, and you want to see how both of their stories are going to interact. Hopefully, they'll go towards the grand finals, whoever it is going to be. But this sure will be a slobber knocker. Mm, yeah, a lot of passion on the line here for both sides. You know, coming from different ends of that kind of spectrum, but going towards the same goal, honestly, trying to prove themselves in a manner that, um, can stand the test of time if you would. And I just wanted to say to you guys, thank y'all out to the chat, um, but I think this is an important thing to say. This okay. mix of veteran players and younger players, um, certain dynamics as far as fighting games is, you know, your reflexes, your dexterity, the physical amount. Uh, but I think a lot of just knowledge and being able to read your opponent can circumvent just a lot of those things. Yeah. You know, uh, I think the game is built on you having a combination of those tools to your point, rather than excelling at one over the other. So I think it's interesting to take note like where the player mentality and the decisions are coming. I'll probably replay it back when you get the chance to do it to see why they would do that in that situation. Rather than saying it's a pure just reaction, just react to the you know? Uh, but it's gonna be great. This match is gonna have a mix of both of those. I, uh, with Zozo, he, he is a student of the game. Where, where it's that Soul Calibur step, like he will compartmentalize the way you play the game to the most simplest of buttons and movement, where he's trying to break you down, where Omega, I was afraid in that last match versus Incendiate where he would get hit, and then he would get hit again because he was trying to do something, rather than just stopping, blocking, and assessing the situation where Sozo was at. And yeah. I hope he does that. Well, we'll see if he can take time to breathe, but again, he's going up against a Yoshimitsu player who might not even give him that chance. Okay, we at least get momentum on our side. Omega. Going for the go offensive guard attack. What a <laughs> jump. jump off of the uh, <laughs> That's a strange input to do, but the jump off again. Okay, that was the actual fallout. Not sure about that first one. Okay. For Hibby. Mm -hmm. Oh, helicopter. Tech pro. Ooh, counter hit launch into one side. No! Just that enough. juggle. That, that combo confirm is so good. Yeah, great awareness there from Omega. He's again starting off the round again right. 
damage in Suzo's face. But really, you have to take a look at those life bars over time. This round, it's going much more in Omega's favor. Not so much back and forth like it did in the last round. And honestly, if they can keep it going... That's oh, okay. No. okay. Sometimes your opponent's going to get the right read. It's all dependent on the follow-up. He goes into Soul Charge, he's pressed against the corner. Oh, they're both disappearing. They're both flying. Oh, wait, your Horries are not the Horries they need to be. Actually, vertical when they're not there. Oh, oh, boy. Sorry about that. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. He picks it up. <laughs> It, he picks it up. You just you, you worry. They're right on the edge there, and you just don't know. I was just thinking of um, certain Eminem lyrics back there. But that's worth another time. Okay, as we get into the launch, confirm. Soul attack, knockdown. What's gonna be the pressure? We trying to get him on the uh, quick guard rise. And I like how he's trying to pick that as a check because what Sozo likes to do, counter to what I'm seeing from Mega, is that he likes to just wake up and block. Uh, he respects a lot of offense. Okay, Sozo backing off a little bit after getting a little bit of damage there. Where is the next approach? You have to make up this life deficit. Oh, and he does the AA immediately. He knows. He has the knowledge to react, and he'll be able to take him out of the air with that. I see a lot of Taki just be able to get out of there uh, based on the flight, and it's hard to do it because she has a follow-up option that can check it, but it's not going to matter. He's going to take that round. All right, one round under Sozo's belt. Oh, the counter hit confirmed, which is going to be in Taki's favor. Taki paid the $14.99 to that gaming company we all love. Okay. Power to the players. Backing up a little bit. Hey, he's going to do it off the swamp. On Grab's going to do. It's going to be a knockdown, though. Okay. Getting the behind. String is so good because even though it's not a... A natural hit combo, the last hit like does a little bit of chip on your guard gauge. Which as you can see his guard gauge right now is excelling. And that didn't break the guard? Oh my goodness. He can't block anything else though. This oh is the setup. Oh, what but he challenge. is able to do the rising. Now he has to guess. Oh, and he guessed wrong. He thought it was gonna be the low, but the helicopter is gonna clip his head off. Alright, final round of game one going on right now. And we see this relentless offense from Omega still breaking. Putting the guard on break point. But the challenges from Sozo have been really effective, especially when their guard is at such a low place. This is, in fact, um, I see it's damaging. Okay, this is where it's going to be scary because with Soul Charge, Maki, like I said before, she has a lot of break attacks, like most characters do, but her break attacks are like jail strings and like mind games. So if he can hit that, that's going to hit! That's going to hit! That's going to hit! This is going to be guts! The damage that this is going to do is going to be absolutely ridiculous. But he still has to, he still has to get in. Yeah, still a mild life lead. Oh, just hit him. <laughs> That's how the seal works. And that, from there, if I were to make an educated guess on where Omega Xian's mind was at. Uh, is that that was a preemptive button Welcome to, the stage uh, to counteract uh, the approach movement from Sozo, but in, in that space, it was even. But it's a, I think it's a, a symptom of Omega kind of 0.5 second just overextending. When I felt like just the threat of just walking forward would have been a mistake on Sozo's part. Yeah, riding the wave a little too hard there yeah. right at the end. Unfortunately, costing them the round in the game. We're on game number two right now. No one's taking the first round, but you know what? Suzo looking particularly strong in that first round. And like I said, like like I think I think Sozo, like in comparison to Omega, just wants it more. A bit of a younger man, but you know, sometimes youth isn't a replacement for experience. Nice block though. Cancel the 6-6 six, six speed to the guard. Goes right into a guard stance there, waiting for the challenge from Suzo. But Suzo chooses his buttons well. There's no big opportunity yes. that Omega's taking. Has to make the opportunity appear for themselves, but you know what? The opportunities are plentiful right now. Good amount of damage from Omega's side. Just doesn't do a little bit more. I like how he went for that follow-up option after it. He did it the first time, and he kills himself. <laughs> now, now, you guys may think he's memeing, but that was a 4D chess play. He opted to get the soul meter yes. so he could use it for the next round. Yeah. <laughs> that is a, a tactic that Yoshi players do often kind of do. And I just wanted to let y'all know. Finally able to use some of that meter right now. But only after taking a huge amount of damage from Omega. Omega looking to really ride this round. 
and gain some of that momentum that they so need as their play style. So he can still play the round because he still has the guard gauge, and now he's going into soul charge. He can use oh the pressure, but he's going too long. Why did he do that move up close? It's gonna be too long. If he gets dug into the wall again, it is a guaranteed ring out. Okay. But this is, this is where it's dangerous because the guard gauge is dangerous. See, he's not blocking it now because he doesn't want to deal with his guard gauge being increased. Yeah, I don't think he has any choice right now, though. Oh Except my God. there! There's the choice! Goes right into the cinematic! And that should be the end of this round. Yeah, it's going to be the end of the round. Uh. All right. So he did the A once. He committed to it. Did the vault into the upper drop key jungle into the CE. That CE does not confirm. <laughs> it's not confirmed easily. So the fact that he had the awareness for that was great. After the, uh, the counter hit, lethal hit connects. Focus. Yeah, Soul Charge just to get us back into somewhat of a neutral state going on. But you know what? Suzo is looking on fire. Even when he's on the back end, even when he's blocking, and his guard gauge looks to be broken. Yes. He's really just got you in his yes. corner. I told you, he uh. will literally sit there and block, and I think that is great of his like small, compact style because it doesn't extend for mistakes. Now, this is dangerous because Taki is the break attack machine. Oh, oh no, it's the back door. It's the back door. It's going to kill. No, no, no. What the 1K mix is gonna do? The Ooh. low, the low is gonna, yeah, the low is gonna do that. The low is gonna do that. Unfortunately for today, you know what's the the the, the heartbreaker? Mm. I spoke to Omega XCN off camera and I said, "Hey, are you ready to win this today?" And he's like, "Nah, man, I'm ready to get fifth place." And I think he spoke that into existence yeah and i'm sorry to bring that to you attention you guys <laughs> but that's what he said i facts, mean facts. that's what he said you guys can message him on twitter and ask him a person he said that he I, said that. i mean when you have that kind of experience behind you you can almost feel it sometimes you can feel like i've been here before i've gotten to this point and unfortunately his prophecy of his of his own self came true yeah. but you know what fifth place is nothing to scoff at especially with performance like that um, say the least. Uh, good stuff to both players, but that's the end of our losers' quarters finals. Boom and uh, Suzo move on. They will be fighting each other in the losers' semifinals. But before that, uh, we have our top four situated. We're going to be going to our winners' final side. Uh, and before just that, we're going to be running some Twitch ads. So be sure to chill. Be sure to check out the match arena just before we go. And uh, we'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Gotcha. I mean, right. if you look at it, um, the matches there the so far have been back and forth. Um, yeah. I think the most volatile matches um, have been with Sozo's first match in, in Losers. Um, mm. And then the one, I think, uh, when Thermidor fought Sane in the first match in Losers. Um, I think the ones that are going to be at most interesting going forward as we get into this top four, obviously we have Coffee and, and Insidia going in a little bit. The weird thing about it is that it's just a unique set of circumstances where if Incendia still has the knowledge of what Coffee's maximum is, then I think he's going to... It's going to be convincing. Okay. That's because I think he, he, he knows how to handle the storm or the rotation options that Coffee can I mean, that's definitely what Coffee's strength kind of relied in. Um, but at the same time, I don't know. Coffee's riding on a really good high, taking out Boom, uh, just getting into this winner's side in, in the first place. Coffee's riding really well, and that, that, that fight against Boom was very convincing, very solidifying in terms of your player's strength. And, I don't know, some players can ride that. They can ride that all the way, at least until Grand Finals. Grand Finals, you see people start shaking up a little bit. But the Winner's Finals, at least, you can ride that confidence pretty well in yourself. And I guess it depends on whether or not Coffee's that style of play. You get some players that rely on their confidence heavily, and some players that rely on more so their their skill and their, their technique. Um, but, let's see, uh, would you say either player kind of rides one side or the other? Or do they do they kind of wear their heart on their sleeve in that sense? Okay, the or answer are both that of them in the same kind of camp? I will answer that for you. I think both of them are in the same kind of camp, but it's two different dichotomies. With okay. Incendiate, like I said, is the sonic box of the Soul Calibur community. Right. And I say that because 
once you get at a certain point where you are at the point where you win, and then you keep winning and you keep winning and you keep winning, it is up to you as an individual to keep to still have that desire, that hunger, mm -hmm. to where even if you do get rattled up by things not going your way, yeah. you can climb back from that. Now, with coffee, coffee has recently been a titan where I still think he hasn't been tested among a player of this caliber, mm. pun intended, and I think once Incendiate is able to weather that storm, if he represents it to weather that storm early, that is when Coffee is going to start to feel the pressure, and that may be his name. Mm. Now, on that other side, we have our semis. That's an interesting case, because I actually have a little background. Okay. Um, for a France major for Soul Calibur a little bit earlier in the year called the Mix-Up, um, Boom was actually helping uh, Sozo get ready for that. <laughs> Sozo was supposed to travel for that, but due to other political reasons outside of the frame of this broadcast, um, he did not go. But uh, basically, to summarize it, they ran Boom's boot camp for like hours. Wow. And he was basically trying to get him adroit to how to basically win the bracket. Mm -hmm. And I think that helped him a lot. I think that helped him mature as in his composure, how he chooses to play, because a lot of similarities between how Sozo approaches his neutral play and when he's on defense reminds me of him. Mm -hmm. Very small caliber, compact, very movement and defensive recognition based, uh, very aware mm -hmm. of like character tools. So when I think about that game, I think it's who can establish the meta first, because once the player establishes their meta, the other player is going to know and adjust, and he's already going to be behind, <laughs> because it's going to go to the next thing, and then the next thing, and then the next thing. And that is the loser's semifinal, so you don't have a lot of the time to adjust there. You're still in that very quick pace scenario, and once you're done, you're done. That's it. Out of the tournament. No chance to go to loser side and run it back. Um, so you're absolutely right. That, that, that sort of pacing can really set the stage for an explosive fight. Alrighty, as we're going into it right here, let's bet money on the fact that this is about to be a hype match. This is going to be the first force to three of the evening. We got one more game from each of them at least. Alright, All right. over with the Orioles. Send nice him, send him versus Coffee for those just catching up. And this is winner's finals, as mentioned, first to three. Catches him whipping, he's gonna be able to whip punish him. Nice. What's the knockdown? Oh, he goes for the juggle again. Give me a third one. Oh no, he just goes for the Ori low. Check on the toes right there. Two way checks them. Oh, this wall situation is scary. Side steps to try to avoid it. Oh, and I like wow. how he ducked that. So when you get hit by that low, that second hit is going to confirm. But when you block that low, of course, it goes to the high. It doesn't jail, so you can get a free whip punish off of that. Good defensive option. Yeah, nice managed. respect off of the stance. Now, if you would have guessed right, he would have had a uh, sidestep uh, punish confirm, but he does have an eight option that'll check that into a counter hit. Confirm. Coffee not getting any big plays so far. Had a few hits in the early round of this one, but holy cow, everything is landing! Yes. <laughs> this is the power of doing small, contained chip. I spoke too soon, though. That counter hit, though. It's going to be a knockdown, though. This is where it's going to be dangerous. Ooh. Ooh, the bubble. That was the punish, but he missed it! Oh. But the clash is going to put him in advantage! But he missed the knockdown! The duck from the AA! <laughs> Woo. Okay, let's everybody take a breath for a moment. No, we're right back in there. Another round, another day. Coffee right now, sitting on two bars. Full resources on deck. Is going to have to take two rounds, three rounds in a row. I don't believe these players' names. <laughs> that last round was Flames, but they're asleep. They're, they didn't oh. wake up to smell the coffee. As the auto GI hits, doesn't give them an advantage, though. That's the knockdown. What's the mix? That's going to be into you're done. You're done. Into the knockdown. Catch through, Kemi. Hey. The run up. K is going to do it. Good on them. All right. And Sindian is leading in round still, but Coffee at least steals one round off the board to Awis. But the wow. break attack is going to smoke that. And that's what happens in that set. He gets an impact counter, lethal hit when he uses the break attack. You saw how he read him. He, he, he committed to that button even before he did it. That is mental damage. Great. No. Okay, a little bit of a whiff there. Can we build momentum? No, it's a little too late. 
And you know what? Final round for game one. We are in for a long set. Oh, yeah, we're in for a long set. If all the games go like this, we're in for a long set right over here. And this is my favorite stage to have a long oh. set on. Hopefully they don't change it. Oh, that's going to be a CE whip. Oh! And it's very similar to like how Doom was playing coffee, how he was very respectful of like the counter options. You see how he waited for the GI off of the 1A lethal hit 1B, sorry. Oh, we are so close. Oh, that's gonna be the second one. That's gonna be out. Yep. Goodbye. And he's out of there. A perfect ring out. You yeah, hate to high. see it unless you're the one doing it. Incendiate it. Getting the first game. Alright, because him off the back line. You see how many sequences of these successful hits that he had off of those legion hits? That was amazing. Yep, it's gonna be the punish again. Nice awareness of how him how he used that hit. Take this. Oh, okay. Good for the guard impact. Tries to bring something from it, but no damage. Here we go with the reversal edge. Uh, that's going to force him into the second phase of the clash. Okay, that's going to do a bit on the guard gauge. Goes for the chaos and trying to beat him out. Yeah, nice sidestep. Now he's going to have to see. Yeah, this is the easy combo. Into the confirm for the round. That's another round for Incendia, but you got to give it to Coffee. He never feels like he's out of any rounds. He, he always feels like he's still on his feet, still trying to find ways to get going. He's just, it's hard for him to take that first step in a lot of these rounds. It's always Incendia taking that first pressure and a bit of damage. I think, uh, I think there's a small note I want to make about Coffee's play. I think there are certain times when Incendia plays that he gets the GI where I just think he's a little bit behind on calling out certain punishes, risk that he's making. Um, and then there's Insignia, when he does defend correctly, uh, he's able to capitalize off that situation. That situation was made off of the clash for that much damage. I'm amazing. That's a good amount of damage. It's like he plays this game. Oh my god. Oh, that was actual a reputable read. This GI doesn't work, has he? A difference of range going on right there. The throw will almost even up life. Next hit should do it. Goes for the armor stance, sidesteps it, and takes the round. First in that last sequence, as you can see, uh, he actually went for the um, that GI, the, uh, the universal GI. He got thrown, and then the armor stance gets baked by the sidestep into the confirm. By the way, two reads are great defensive options that girl does. All right, again, a good amount of damage going on in Sendi inside. But you know what? Coffee matching it, tip for tat. And again, both sides being. Nobody's out of this game at any point. Oh, nice. but that'll do it. <laughs> he had to guess with a low. He had to guess with a low in that instance. He did not hit in that sense, but that's okay. Goes with the next thing. I right, move on to the round right over there. Coffee's leading with a lot of momentum. Ooh, the jump B is gonna do it. But that low, it's not cooked. That low has not cooked one time. And uh, it's, it, I think at that point, I don't know if it's valuable to even use that still, especially if you're taking that type of damage. All right. Both oh, sides. Oh, that counter hit follow up. Off the 1A into the string is very good because that activates very similar to Mr. Rugi off of the whipping eye, okay? Mm -hmm. Can we keep this corner pressure going? Ooh! Trying to run about get smoked by the kick. That's gonna kill. Yep, and he just goes for the cinematic animation, and we even it up one to one. <laughs> one to one. All righty. Wow, we have a real match going on right now. Again, things are first to three, which means neither side is close to victory at this point. To the they are going back to character select. Oh, excuse me, it wasn't character select. What are we doing? Switching the stage, switching random the stage. stage switch. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that is an option when you can do that just to get composed. I imagine the benefit for that stage because it's weird uh, because it's kind of smaller in forms of like movement and range. This stage is a lot larger um, with the same variables of walls and uh, ring outs, but there's also fences. Oh, and that's going to be smoking them in the corner. I kind of put them off access, so not threatening for a ring out, but committed to the 2G. But Coffee is like, I'm way 2G for you, buddy. I'm going to hit you with this mid. All right. Yeah, Coffee is riding the momentum of that last win. Are we going to see it keep moving forward? Trying to make some spaces in Sendia, and yeah, gets that launcher because of it. Go for the wake up throw, interesting. Okay, but he does not hack it though. I'm chasing, yeah, chasing the sidestep now. Now he goes for the low. The is gonna be countering off of that. Again, women. Yeah, you see Incendia making a lot of that space because that's where his best option is gonna be without Coffee really having an answer to it to stop him. Yeah. Nice break. Oh! The Freudian Demon happens again. But back 
R.I. is going to steal the deal. I love to see it. And a little bit of an emotional reaction. Counter to what I was trying to say uh, from him on the stream cam right over there. Oh, the patience! The patience to even do that, but still get smoked. Now he gets hit by that low. Okay. Tiger Joel, what are you talking about? But he steals the bar! Damn. <laughs> Coffee. Looking nice and brewed right now. <laughs> oh, he is on fire at the what moment. Did, what did Wait, what are we doing? No, they were gonna start. They're gonna slow it down. Yeah, this is okay. great. This is great for Incendia to do. But uh, let me ask you one question. I don't know if you watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. This is gonna be a okay. random question. Yes, yes. What did Lord Neo try to crush Jotaro with in part three? It was a steamroller. And that was exactly uh, what happened exactly right over there. What happened. <laughs> that is exactly what happened over oh, there. It was a steamroll. Steamroll at the. Oh, Let's do this. good lord. Change in character. Okay. Yeah. Okay, no, I respect it. I respect it. <laughs> I respect it. Uh, is is Incendia trying to throw co coffee off a little bit uh, with this pick? Definitely trying to throw coffee off because uh, there's an established The last reason. knowledge check? Yeah, yeah. The last test. <laughs> <laughs> I think there is knowledge, but I also think there's a character that can fight a bit better up close with a little bit less risk. So you can uh, do like a launcher like that, but not get necessarily punished and get a GI. Hmm. These guard impacts, though, are definitely disrupting Incendiate's momentum. And I, I don't know if it's frustrating him or if it's just working as intended. But right now... It's oh. working as intended, I'm yeah. telling you right now. It depends. Uh. That's a question on if you ask which side you're on, if both of those could be right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it doesn't look like it's working on uh, an Incendiate side. Oh, my God. Uh. Oh, Was my God. this the right character to pick? On what could be a final game in our winner's final set. Okay, that is going to be avoided there off the uh, back movement. Ooh, get that back. Uh, launcher. Same one, though. Gets the AA punish. Uh -uh. Okay. A little bit of movement for mid-screen. Nice block off the low. Cancel the stance. Good interruption. Yeah. I didn't want to hear the rest of that voice line anyway. <laughs> Ooh, but he calls out the actual. This is a great thing about what Coffee does. Not only is he aware of when he wants to use his defensive options, he's aware when his opponent wants to use their defensive options and counters them. Still, he, he was aware. He was aware that the hurry was coming. He saw that uh, resistance A couple seconds, happen. a couple seconds, that actually would have been into a level three slap on her butt, and then she would have been like hit for a combo. All right, at least there's a round under Incendiate's belt. And you know what? That can be all the difference that they need. Oh! Great attack going right away. The guard impact still doing what it's been doing so well, and that's just throwing Incendia ah. off their game. Oh my god. See what I tell you about these rages? Like, you kind of want to be close, but like, you kind of don't. That's that, crazy. That went so much farther than I think even Incendia expected. <laughs> I dig it. I dig it. All right. Nice whip punish. Okay, he's the soul charge. Now, Shangma, uh, contrary to most characters in the cast, isn't like a main soul charge character that we see. But uh, her strength in using her meter is definitely for her quick uh, punish confirmed CE. So I dwell on it. Mm. Yeah, there goes the rest of that meter. Still has one bar in the background, but honestly, Coffee is just looking so fluent at the moment. Okay, blocks it. should be again. Low, sees the turn. Oh, goes into the full edge of the strength. But uh, just agitates the uh, guard gate over there. It's on yellow, but that's not even going to matter because the CE is going to do it. And Coffee, man, is going to make you wake up right about now. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. No, uh, no one wanted to see that anyway. <laughs> I wanted to see that. As somebody who's a fan of the classic, <laughs> like, Bruce Lee Kung Wee films, like, I... I the, the a typical character basically is a force resolve. I love saying that. Stuff. You're gonna get to see more of that uh, yeah, of course, though, because of course, Coffee of course. is moving on to grand finals. Yes. You yes. we did you did the analysis earlier and you were a little concerned for them. You were a little concerned that Incendiate, yes. with not only their legacy but their strength as a player, was just gonna you know blow right past them. But Coffee was ready for the challenge. It was the opposite. Of yeah. The opposite, actually. yeah. Coffee was the one who was acting like the quote unquote grizzled vet. Yeah. And then Incendiate, I could see the tilt. I could see the tilt. <laughs> as he I could see it. But you know what? Sometimes the tilt makes us stronger. Yeah. Sometimes we get tilted down just to get back up. And right now, he's going to have that chance in Losers Finals eventually. Yes. Uh, but 
before we get to that, we're going to be doing loser semifinals, which is going to be Suzu versus Ooh. Boom. I mean, I was gonna, I'm going to say you're excited for this yes, match. Yes, Everybody's yes. excited for this match. I feel like we've been excited for almost every match going on. Here's the thing. But what stands out about this? The thing that stands out about this is, like I was saying earlier, it is going to be a, a mentor and a mentee type of thing. Mm. Now, Sozo, who's gone by a couple names, okay, but it's now Sozo Lane, mm. uh, has definitely worked under Boom and like seen him for guidance, advice, and just general improvement. Boom has cultivated him from what I thought was a a B plus player mm. to an A player, and B plus player isn't bad. Mm. But we're talking about competing and winning tournaments. And if you look at the pedigree of the players who are still left in this bracket, out of the four. So it was the only one. Okay. That's, this level. that's that's a statement. That's so a statement so I right think there. I think if you look as the audience out there, to the uh, if you want to hope for a young man uh, who has nothing to lose and who's looking for everything to gain, I say you want to be in the Sozo camp. But if you're looking for, a, and also a young man mm. uh, who has been doing this since he was like yay hot, <laughs> and he's been playing fighting games for over a decade now and who has so many hats and so many things in the community uh, who, who you can look at as in they, they deserve it, then you want to be in the boom camp. Uh, but either camp, I think uh, it's going to be a nice family field trip. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be great. Now, for you guys out there, I see a lot of the, the, the locales out there in the chat, and I just wanted to tell you guys, thanks for showing up. Thanks for the stream and everything. Uh, we love it here in New York. Thanks for the opportunity uh, for them to do it. Now, Let's it's go. interesting because out of the four, there's only one New York native mm. in this bracket. I believe two. Yeah. I think, it, I think it might be coffee, and I think it might be incendiary. Correct me on that if you're correct. I mean, there, coffee, there we are, Matt, if I'm it, it, I, know it's it's, I know it's in Sydney, definitely. You mentioned that coffee was definitely, uh, not to use it in the derogatory term, but the online warrior yeah. style. They were definitely the online personality. And um, Incendia was the one doing more of the live, the live stuff. Yes. Um, so, you know, it, it can be kind of tough to uh, attribute location when the person was online for so long. They could be down the street, but you just never know. Um, but <laughs> it, it, it's crazy. I'm sorry to interject. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, crazy. Uh, it's another online player who's actually in New York who didn't make it top eight. He got yeah. uh, 13. His name is Machine Gun Kills. He's a killing player. Oh. He's actually Warriors like in the city. <laughs> yeah. His first uh, major, his, his first uh, uh, weekly was uh, Monday at another event. But as we're setting up for this event, it is going to be Mitsurugi for Boom versus Yoshi Mitsu for Sozo. Mm. The Mitsurugi pick. Okay. Right now, we're feeling still more of the momentum on Suzo's side. Obviously, we've been seeing Suzo playing Yoshimitsu this entire top eight and doing particularly well with them. I'm not seeing anything out of the Mitsurugi so far, but that could just be the offense from Suzo being so effective in conjunction with this defense. Of course, and like I said before, this match is all going to be about uh, who can establish that first meta and then who can utilize that and, and run away with it because they both play very similar in that regard. And see, it's not a lot of risk-taking. It's a lot of checking of movement and checking of defensive options. And Sozo's coming out better in that regard. Ooh, but the 2-2-8 hmm. does not hit its mark. The man, boom, now has two more rounds to establish that Mitsurugi <laughs> is worth taking it through the rest of the game. I feel that. Uh, but this is going to be the last first or two of this evening, so he doesn't have a lot to go off of. But 2-2-8 is going to work. That lead to it activates off of punish, so that's gonna give him a damage in positioning. Now he has to his blade checked in. Now he whips. Nice. The BB is just a simple whip. And the throw is gonna be another simple throw again. Take the damage. 1A goes in. Nice block. Mm. Ooh, goes for the full A, A, A string. Huge gap in the middle of that. Ooh, okay, yeah. He finishes it out. Catches him off guard. Right now, oh, okay. Suso. Okay. Looking to make a comeback here in this round. Using the movement, which is especially good, but the counter hit off of the uh, run counter is actually good for the AA. Great match strength. 6 KB. And look at me. Oh, two rounds. A much better round that second round, but even still, not able to close things out. Boom. On the last round of his first game, goes right into Soul Charge. 
just to hopefully get something started. Now, he does have access to, uh, to as he goes for the uh, BB string. Now, he does have access to kind of Jake Mix. He can go for the launcher. It's like quick damage, but uh, he did that for the first two times. So I'm surprised he didn't go for the uh, 1 uh, one KB. Yeah, I think there's just a, a difference in, I don't want to say confidence, but a difference, I'll say, in confidence in the play style right now. But like I said before, Sozo is the one who established the meta. Now Boom is playing from behind in order to adapt, but now as he's adapting, Sozo's already adapting. Yeah. And it's just a lot of life containment. It's weird. It's weird seeing Sozo be the aggressor in this set, but he's playing it perfectly well. Yes, and I, like I said, Sozo to the basically his refined his contained small play from Boo. Yoshimitsu. So to see the fact that it's working so well against him, I got to think it's questionable. But you know what? He's the reflection of his mentor, and we're about to see that in the character choice. Alrighty, it is time for the mirror match. This is the second time Suzo is playing this mirror match in this top eight. Yes. <laughs> he already took out one Yoshimitsu. I'll take out as many of my siblings as I have to on go. my way to the top. <laughs> and I don't know, I think we're going to be down to Disney. I don't think we're going to get the Monty Clan salute right over here. But um, we're getting down to it. I don't know, calling yourself a demon is kind of sus. Hey, man. What you do in the mirror in the morning oh, what we do. is up to you. All right. I love that respect. Counter hit. Ooh, nice side step. Interesting nice option. Okay, that's gonna be a punish. Kinda got a slightly better punish than that, but oh sorry, he doesn't have enough meter to go for the Brave Edge launcher. There's the counter here string. Ice A to check off the follow-up. Good blocking from both sides. And you can see it in the life. Neither side making a huge difference. Oh, but the A is going to check it. And there's still a control from Sozo. An unbreakable defense that is just so canny to him. Especially, I feel like he's just strong today. Really, I really do. Mm. Okay. Round was in Boom's lead, but honestly, not able to maintain it. Okay. He's with Arcade on the AA string. Ooh, nice. Nice. He's going to be still. Follow up counter hit's going to push him towards the corner. A8 whip is going to get whipped with an AA of his own. 6 k is going to fuck him to the corner. Nice mm -hmm. block. See, now it's set. Now he has the gauge. We're going to spend it on the Brave Edge launcher. Grab tech. This is just like this. Is a, this. This is a low. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> finally. Finally a round under your belt. As we go into it, that's going to be battle three. Equal on round for one. Soul attack launcher. This is going to be good for the mix. Mid, low. GI off the follow up. Great. Let's get as much though. It's a level one. Okay, manages to survive that onslaught of mixes. But it's too little too late. We're going to do our own soul charge here. And can we get things going? Can we get it on the offense? Oh, but he ducks it. Go for the Brave Edge launcher. Follow up nice. Cancels it. He didn't want to do the mix right over there. Oh, he goes for the cancel. Hold low. The, the, I said this before. When it comes to defense in this bracket, these two players are ridiculous. So when he did that cancel, he never did that this entire turn. This entire time he did that. I watched all of that. And then he hit that there, and boom, still blocked. Even if he is behind, the, the awareness of Boom is amazing. Okay. Mine K. Oh, boy. I forgot to mention that this is even set point right now yeah. for Suzo. And he's looking at one more round. Nice punish. And he's still looking strong. But he has one more mix left. Okay, now he's the last of his meter. Now, now. or never. Boom. Oh, but he's whipping! Oh, the throw tag! Okay. Oh, Oh my goodness, Boom evens it up. And now it's a 1-1 a one -one game situation. But the disappointing thing is because how Soul Calibur works when you lose the round and it's the final round, uh, the opponent who lost that round gets a green bar. So now instantly Yoshimitsu is a much more powerful character. When uh, Boom, uh, he doesn't get to use a, a lot of the uh, modded punishes, a lot of the great things that the Brave Edge uh, gives him. Yeah. Right? This is the Soul Charge that he get a benefit of that. Yep, but you know what? Boom is not deterred right now. Having a great round start, even with the Soul Egg on their side, Boom is still doing really well. 
All right, and he just got that bar though. That that reversal edge cancel really helped in order to get him a lot of that meter that he needed in order to do that. Okay. Ooh, the break attack. Okay. Ooh, he tried something there. It did not work out. He can still pressure him. Okay, he does the same thing. Oh, the clash is gonna get him in the free hit though. Oh, so hell sweep. He has to block. Oh my God, I'm so glad that did not hit. He did the fake combo. Oh my God, the kick. Oh, and he does the wall rising launcher and boom steals it. Even it is up one to one. That was far too close for comfort. But you know what? We're even now. One game apiece. And it's not as if the adaptations weren't happening mid, mid, mid set or even mid round. We are just on even playing field of this card. Yes, it is anyone's game. Yes, yes. It's a bit tighter than what it was in the first game. Um, usually how mirrors go is that it's a, uh, a testament to, you know, the player proficiency, uh, knowing the knowledge how to counter their character, but also using their tools, but also playing the players. Now, that's both of those things being displayed because of the relationship between the players and also their comfortability with the match. Oh, that's going to be a counter here. Lethal hit. Those were the uh, 4K beats. Those were knocked out. Kind of questionable setup when he had the wall right there. That's okay. Now he's going to suffer through that. I got to question if that was the uh, the combo confirmed that he wanted to do off of that, if that cost him the positioning that he did. As we go into it, checks him off of the movement. B, A, A. Oh, okay, there we go. All right. A, A is going to be checking off the Oh, the knee. That knee, 6K is great at uh, establishing 6K at uh, that space. Nice track, story move. Prevents you from trying to move in certain cases. Sozo represents that move very godly. Good check. Oh, oh. that's going to be a fun No, it's not. Oh, my goodness. That could have been a full launcher. But Sozo's guard gauge, that's why he sidestepped. Because if he would have took the uh, regular horizontal hit, it would have smoked him. But it doesn't matter. As he goes to the outer hit, confirm. And that is going to be two games to him right over there. Well, that's, that might be the first and last guard crush we see of the entire tournament, but it was a dramatic one. Set point now for Boom, making a reverse 2-0 attempt. The guard pressure in that last game was nasty, but the pressure in here is great. All right, disappears. I don't even know how these players are able to confirm on that as he blocks that 4 point. Not the safest. Oh, sorry, no, no, no. There you go. I haven't seen that throw before. <laughs> it's been a while. Every once in a while I see that and it's like, I forget, I forget that's in the game. Mm. Wow, just going up and taking the defensive stance right away, trying to call out the other's offense. But boom, getting a good amount of damage right oh, away. Oh, this is positioning. Oh, but he whipped the wake up though. That's crazy. Some really bad drops now. This is going to slump him. Adding Knockdown. up. How's he gonna take advantage of the knockdown? Oh, is that it? I kind of wish he would have GI. All right, pop this up. Wow. Oh, but that's just gonna check him one for one. There it is. Boom takes it over Suzo. That, that I'll be honest, uh, watching that, that hurts because uh, Sozo, Sozo for so long has been uh, has been playing. And he's coming out of um, Indianapolis. Wow. And Quite he's attending trip. all of these events to play the game that he loves, Soul Calibur. Mm. And he's so dedicated to getting that W. And I, out of anything, I, I'm thankful for all these players, but I'm especially thankful for his tenacity and his and just his dedication to the game where he still wants to excel and get that point. It wasn't his day, but your day will come soon, my friend. I guarantee it. But boom. Um, Making the explosion uh, that exactly his name suggests. Uh, he found some way into top three. No, to nobody's chagrin or surprise. Um, and the only two people who are left who lost in winners lost the person in our grand finals call. I mean, it kind of makes sense when you think about it at the end of the day. These, we're in losers finals, but don't let the title fool you. These are two of some of the strongest players in the game right now, Incendia and Boom right in front of us. Uh, they are going to be fighting it out in a first to three to figure out who's going to be taking on Coffee in Grand Finals. And how do you even feel when 
you know your next match is going to be against somebody you already lost to in bracket. <laughs> this is a great concept. This is a question that we always have to ask ourselves as tournament players. Yeah. And I would say one thing, um, it's a personal journey. I have a history with uh, Killer Instinct. I played a combo breaker this past year, got fifth. Um, I ran bracket. And the people who beat me are people that I lose to more likely than not. KI gods. I don't know if you've seen Nikki, Bass, um, people like Sleep, those people. Um, and one thing that I learned from that experience is that, of course, it's the obvious. They're just regular people like everybody else. Uh, but the, the. But are they, though? <laughs> trust me. <laughs> all, all these quote unquote gods, um, right. if you put in the work, uh, if you put in the time, uh, you will wake up and smell the coffee, literally. Mm. Coffee, sure. grand finals over the acclaimed god of this game right now. I'll say it, god of this game right now. It's sure. um, but it's interesting because the match that we're going into is going to be a Combo Breaker 2022 Grand Finals run back between Boom and Incendia. And the way that it went last time was that Boom took it in winners. Mm -hmm. Then it was the Grand Finals we said, um, when Incendia took it. And then Boom came back for the uh, victory after that. These games, mm -hmm. study-wise, if you look at the numbers, Boom has more likely than not over the years been in Syndicate. He Whoa. beat him in Combo Breaker 2019 to get into the top eight. Or to, you know, to, to he get into the top eight. He did that Combo Breaker 22 in Grand Finals. But the every Sonic Fox has a Goichi. <laughs> and I think even more than Omega, this is his Goichi. Now, Could very well I was be. proven wrong once before. If Rayman will happen again, who now, knows? We'll find out. Now, that being said, I think a large part of that will have to do with how Incendia is feeling going into this. Really, the only time we've seen him struggle is up against Coffee, and the, and you, you even said it yourself, there was a factor of tilt going into it with how Coffee was countering Incendia's offense. Um, will that same tilt go into this match? Will he have recovered from it? And will he just fight as solidly and as effectively as he has against Boom? No, he's, he's, Boom he's, he's a lot more comfortable playing against Boom than I'd play you at Coffee all day. I've seen these guys play plenty of time. Uh, it's broken down to the most simplest of mind games, but it's over that Yomi rabbit hole. Uh, but like I said, Boom has that style where like he, his style is, I don't want you to play or have fun. <laughs> so it's as not tilted as you can get by not being able to do what you want. All right. Well, we've had a pretty fairly paced first round so far. Oh, my God. Until that reversal edge came up. Now you're going to have to choose. Try to go for the back step option to kind of move away from a potential A or a K. That throw is awesome. <laughs> that throw is radical. <laughs> Sometimes we just have to keep it simple, and that yeah, throw yeah, is fantastic. It's like I put you down, like be on the ground. You're done. You're done now. All right, nice grab off the side step, Techo. Uh, it's gonna be the whip punish. Very rare whips from Boom, uh, bro. Tech, nice, nice defensive pick ability from both players. <laughs> ah! No flinching here today. But that's the thing, like when you when you have a strong defensive player versus a strong defensive player, you have to do things that on paper or in a micro process just seem like why would you do that? Oh my god, that step. Oh, that was a weird stairway to heaven moment there. Yeah. But you know what, we'll take it. Oh man, when the verticals are the horizontals, you need them to be. Mm -hmm. And just throw, goes to the throw again. Good escape there from Incendiate. <laughs> Oh, that's for the crouch block, and that's going to be an instant confirm into the round. What? Now, you know um, what I'm noticing at the neutral between these two players? There's like a... It's weird. It's it's when, like, you're on, like, the, the, the 95 traffic in the middle of rush hour, and, like, there's this push and pull of cars where it's like you want to speed up, and then you have to immediately slow down, then speed up, then immediately slow down. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the decisions from both players when they're hitting each other. Hey, hey. Good damage right there. This is potentially final round in game one. And Incendiate. Oh, he's taking it. He's going to take it. Yeah. <laughs> no what? round boom with no bar used. Incendiate taking that. All right. You got to think on that game. You got to think were there opportunities I wasn't taking? Was I being a little too aggressive? I didn't use any meter. Like... There's a lot to think about, even when it's a first to three situation. It's so negligible. I, I wish I could tell you a main arcing theme 
of that first game. Uh, maybe somebody so smarter than you out there, <laughs> you or me, uh, could uh, educate us on the topic. But I definitely think Boom needs to find some way to adjust this metagame um, and to switch it from there. Second game, though, uh, Boom is utilizing his position and his life lead. Uh, so uh, once he gets at times where like he feels that his opponent has the momentum, uh, a lot of his play goes into getting the first hit and forcing the opponent to move in on him when he's just backing up a lot. I do notice that Kenny is going for that counter, uh, excuse me, that armored run throw a, a bit, a bit more, and uh, it's definitely getting punished a bit more. Maybe they're being a bit more liberal in this round since they have that first game under their belt. Right. But it's not paying off so far. Oh man, he doesn't get the stop right over there. That's a good punish off of that. There's much more. Again. Kind of check Again. What punish is going to do it? Lightning Storm. Oh, but sides the move, but he doesn't reinforce the frames. Two ways in a second. Yeah, things are a bit more even this round. Like I said, it's like a. I literally said it was like 95 traps. Like, it's, it's a short burst of speed, then you slow down, then a short burst of speed, then you slow down. Oh, slow gotcha. down for that CE. Well, uh, well, that's a car crash right there. <laughs> We're going to inhale right through, do enough to take the round, and boom. Looking in the position that Incendia was in the last game, up two rounds, looking to cleanly take a third. I mean, I know there's a lizard man in Soul Calibur, but I don't think Geico's gonna cover that. <laughs> Alright, let's hit slide. Bro. Like you just said, the simple throws. Like, that's just so, so simple. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it does the job. That's gonna like. Oh. All right, gonna go into the class. What are we gonna do? Moves backwards, oh. misses the kick. Yes, misses the kick. That was so good. And it's rare that you see the reversal edge work off of that, but it's so great when you see the RPS, whether it's gonna be the horizontal button, the, the, the vertical button, or the kick button, interact with the avoiding movement options. And in that case, he chose the wrong one, yeah. where he avoided it completely. I do like enforcing that. that. Reversal Edge, so he has such a big life lead. Might as well. There you go. And he also gets meter off the successful hit of that. That's very important as well. Okay, oh, okay. And he GIs the gap in the middle of that second hit. That was very good at recognition. That's going to be another one that he tried to attempt to hit, but he gets whip punished. That's going to be the low. Goes for the lows. That was a Yomi read right there. He thought he was going to go for a Panic Soul Charge, I believe, and tried to go for the RI in order to take that. Puts a little bit of damage on the table there. Next hit will kill from either side. Nice to wait over seal the deal. Good on Boom. And like I say, Boom, he statistically, when you look at the numbers over time, usually has the Welcome edge the over Insidian. He may, he may be, he may be uh, Insidian's go eat you today. Who knows? He has one more opportunity, Insidian being to the prove that he still should have a shot and going into our grand finals portion of the evening. So my boom, has been led me. Got a couple of cards on. Um, yeah, no, uh, it's it's really now or never. Even though it's our first to three, you just you need this momentum in this game to really make things work. Tries to do the back dodge. It's not going to play out this not time around. Not going to play out at all. Uh. Yeah, steps away from that. Edge. Uh, you do not. Just gets you, hits immediately. You just do not want to be near that. Okay. Okay. Oh, nice jump over that. Small, small victory. Small victory. And that's what you want. You want a couple of those small victories in that aspect to really take advantage of the life lead. <laughs> Tries to go for the shenanigans again. He got him to flinch. He indeed got him to flinch. It did not work out in that setting. Yeah, the flinch was not the one you were looking for. And right now, Incendiate is invigorated from that momentum. Checks the sidestep over there. Then he immediately went for the 2A. Check the backstep over there. Back it up. Oh. Ooh, went for the risky launcher. And that's just going to be the regular CE. What? And pacing-wise, if you're boom, you may want to take like these cinematic like features as a break to think about how you got hit and everything. Um, certain players, when they play fighting games, they want the action to go right back into it. But uh, especially if you're a competitive player, you take those uh, CE breaks, I like to say, in order to capitalize as that low lethal hit hits. 
Oh, okay. Great positioning right now. Can he force him off? No. Yeah, just do the damage while you know he's going to try to avoid the ring out, but it comes nonetheless. I thought he got a little bit too antsy on trying to avoid it because uh, he was doing a couple of side steps and then Boom was just committed to his AA. His AA. Uh, everything that stops step, he was committed to. Flash. Ooh. Ooh, he still had that uh, armor point right over there. Boring Wins is going to push him backwards. Back and forth, back and forth we go. Right now, Boom is at least able to push Incendia closer to the corner. But yeah, not able to get that final push that they need. Launch Still able to get it. It's going to be evening up the rounds right over here. Play that fancy theme song. Play it. It's not enough. <laughs> it's not enough. The scaling was brutal, but that AOE. What can you say? What can you say? Indeed. I dig it. I thought that was a break. <laughs> <I'm not gonna laughs> <hit. laughs> There's the break right there. Oh, my God. All right, pops the bubble, interrupts him right there, pushes him back. That does very good chip. And it does very good damage on him, but that does very good chip. Does require him to spend a bit of his meter, though. Oh, the armor run. Yep, check the low. Oh, wow, just catching the toes left and right, using the soul charge. All right, he got that drink in his cup. He's about to go uh, a little bit dizzy right there. Oh, 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 do it again. Oh, oh, do it again. Oh, oh. One more time. Oh, no. That was nice. He set that up masterfully. He went for a symbol one time, two times, three times a charm, then a break attack, for the, which is hella risky. Because if you could just stop and just reactions to that instead of being conditioning by the bubble option. Because in that case, you want to go for a... Okay, I know when he, he he timed that. Like you know when you condition your opponent to yeah. step back, yeah. bubble, step back, bubble, step back, bubble. It was all a pacing thing, and it was it was slight manipulation at the part of that. I like that. Are... I, that was a very risky break attack to come around. Though. Absolutely <laughs> was, but you know what? Boom's gonna have to recover from it soon because we are in a potentially final game, and that reverse edge is gonna win out in Incendiate's favor. Oh, I'm so glad that second hit smoked the follow-up because he was about to get a brick ton of damage. Roaring wind saves him this time, doesn't get hit. That's why. Oh no, gets the low hit. Ooh. That interaction. That was spaghetti everywhere. Right? Uh, there you go. Uh oh. I was about to say spaghettios, but he wasn't right now. <laughs> Station. Goes to the immediate threat. Nice tech though. Ooh, okay, good tech again. Still taking some damage though. Well, but that's gonna take him out of his kicks. Oh, yeah, that's kill him. Now sometimes. When the punish is slightly late by like two frames on that, the flames can catch you from the side, especially with Wong not being like the slimmest body from side to side. So I'm so glad he didn't get smoked attempting the AA. That was a nice counter to that low. Okay, that was a nice counter to that low. <laughs> a lot of countering going on right now. But Cindy at least has a bit of the life lead there. There it goes. Oh, and there it goes more. Oh, commits to the entire string right over there. Usually that string, uh, he's able to take this turn. But not in that aspect, because he went for the full thing. Very risky, because he would have had a more punishing combo confirming the block. That's going to be simple CE. Confirm the round, even it up one to one. And Sinjit still on magic point. If he is able to get two more rounds after this, Boom got something to say about that. Ever find a witcher? Guess not. He never heard of him. <laughs> Deep breaths. Deep breaths. <laughs> right now, Sinjit really going to try to close out this set. Just to solidify things in the grand finals. Oh, the he armor. The same thing again. Yeah, going right through the counter poke there. Oh, but the whip it off the 9k is going to do it. Okay. That's the funky thing about that stance before, where he hasn't been doing as much as the first. He's just been doing lightning storm and boring wins. Uh, but that is a mix in and of itself, because that low would hit off of the uh, mid option that would usually hit the other mm. spot. Okay. There we go. Keep that corn. That Oh, See, keep it God. simple. Yeah, you're absolutely right. <laughs> I've seen so many supers in this bracket. But it's all optimal use. All optimal use. It's usually going to hit when it kills. I'm scared for you, buddy. You better concentrate on the match. You are one way away from losing, sir. <laughs> oh, my God. But you know what? He's at least feeling himself at the start of this fourth round now. And boom. 
I, you always want to say that, oh, he's got momentum on his side. He's feeling himself right now. But Incendia could just stop that. Yeah, he could stop that immediately. Okay, steals the turn. Steals the turn. So he's hooked up against the wall. He backs up now. Oh, 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 oh. Counter the movement. Blocks. Check the movement. Confirm this is going to be Chip into the game. Yep. Not even Chip. He just didn't block that final attack right over there. Now it's up to Incendia. Now, even if you lose, the advantage is I have a character. <laughs> I have a counter pick. And are we going to see that counter pick? We're taking a moment. We're thinking. If we can look at the players right now, we are thinking hard. Looking at our phones. I dig it. Making decisions. I dig it. And sometimes these are the most important moments in the set. When you're taking that moment. Because in, in the match, you can ask what happens after the match. Why would you do that? And you say, I don't know. Because you're just so, you're, you're so in the moment, letting your subconscious do what it's been trained to do. But it's in these moments that we consciously make our, our, our most specific choices. And we're sticking with the Carol. Yes. All right. So that was more of, I need a breather. I need to subvert this momentum. Mm -hmm. Let's calm down. Because there is an aspect to esports and fighting games in general that is momentum. That is the M word of the day. <laughs> Moment. I think that's the M word of every day of yeah, every yeah, fighting yeah. game. This is true. I'm gonna yeah. be real. There's also Mama when I lose really bad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's for another time though. I have to finish the final game. Not right now. Not right now. Right, so uh. Gonna do it. A. Okay, using the A option to check off of the sidestep. Goes into the grab. Throws it back. Back throw. Ooh, tried, he tried to counter that interrupt over there, but he was just late on that time, unfortunately. The duck is going to smoke him because he cancels into the stance. I know he's not fooling himself. He's lost a lot of the uh, the rotation of options when it comes to the armor one. More likely than not, he's just been hit because he's trying to whip punch. Yeah. I wish if he... I wish he had the same respect towards when he was playing Coffee Ooh. and Maxi, not trying to overextend all those whip punishes because he, he gets right on the initial. Like he is now. I wanted to say, wow, that damage, but he was about then. to happen again. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Okay, nice little hop over. A lot of movement. A lot of movement into nothing. Okay. A lot of movement into nothing. Okay. A lot of movement into nothing, and then it's away. Hey. Oh, that's gonna smoke him. That's gonna smoke him. He armored right through it and burned him alive! Incendiate on set point. Is this Dragon Ball Z? That last round was anime AF. I will tell you that. I don't think it was the power of friendship. I think it was the power of something much more devious. Oh my goodness. But right now, Boom trying to save his tournament life. Incendiate. Running pretty well. Has a bit of a life deficit right here. But you know what? He is making it back. Not even slowly, but surely. Just surely. That was a nice throw. Oh! He can still get killed. Oh, not all right. that. Right. Boom. Brings up the round where Incendiate just needs one more round in order to take the game. But the disadvantage now, like I said before, with Wong being a glass cannon, taking the damage. Oh, that back throw's gonna even it up. It doesn't even matter now. <laughs> very nice. Very nice animation, very nice damage. He just again, throws the sword and then just, ah! It's your fault. You yeah. were there. Shouldn't have been there. Uh -huh. Goes okay. to the armor. Yeah, gets that kick. <laughs> Little <laughs> bits of damage here and there. That's a lethal hit. Yes, it is. It is. If he gets the combo right, okay. He keeps it simple. Goes for the CE. Is the scaling going to mess this up? Yeah, the scaling's not going to kill. The scaling's not going to make it kill. Damn. He could have had a harder combo, which would have been more damage, better positioning. Uh, but it's definitely... Oh, oh my god. He grabs, oh, he grabs oh, the... Oh, oh my god. Get his cuff again. Oh my god. This is going to do shit. Man's going to put you on fire. He's going to do it! Oh! It doesn't do nothing! What I told you before... Oh. What I told you before oh. is what I said in the last match, what Omega needed to do. He needed to walk up and do nothing. Because <laughs> opponents will press buttons when they don't need to press buttons. And Boom is great at identifying that. So good. Even enough one-to-one. -one. Who is going into our grand final section of the evening? Oh. We in the boxing ring. There is a lot of life to make up for, but Boom has done that once before. 
All right, final game, final round. Soul Charge now on Incendiate's side. Doing a little damage on the magic. Text the throw. Oh, the trade, but oh, not yeah. in oh, yeah. Boom's favor. <laughs> Incendiate <laughs> taking a very close set. 3-2. And that is Loser's Finals, ladies and gentlemen. We have our Grand Finals. And that will come next. But first, but first, we got some people to thank. We got some people to thank because if not for them, we would not be here this weekend. So let's get to them. First off, we're going to talk about the match Reno. Make sure you're supporting the fantastic players, showing off these fantastic sets like they have been. I see now that the prize pool is now at $71.05. That is fantastic. But we can do more. All the contribution codes have been claimed. There's always the opportunity to do the... Um, sponsorship quests that are below that but if you're feeling a little generous if you're feeling like man these matches are getting me hyped make sure to donate if you can even if the whole of chat donated one dollar each i'm sure we would see this prize pool spike so take the time now to check out that match arena and donate what you can all right as we're going into it shout outs to arcade candy co it is the premium custom designers for pins, keychains, sticker type products. The vendor is at this event. They have all of these and you can check them out outside of this event at arcadecandyco.bigcartel.com. All right, shout out to House of 3000, one of the streamers for tonight's event. Uh, House of 3000 has been supporting the community for nine years. Now they need our help. Their account has wrongfully been banned on Twitter, and their business and outreach has been impacted. Let's get it back. Use exclamation point HO3K in the chat. Retweet the link and use hashtag free HO3K. It's a water, man. They run in two uh, streams at this event, man. They, they got great uh, production quality for some of the largest Smash tournaments in the world. They run weeklies for Smash Ultimate. Come on, guys. Check them out. All right, as we're going into it, uh, there's also going to be the best converter for all generations of Xbox and PC consoles. That's going to be the Wingman Converter, uh, Brook Gaming. Uh, it's an accessory brand from Taiwan with more than 20 years of experience in gaming hardware. In 2015, Brook released their Super uh, Converters for gaming consoles, which allow you older game pads and other controllers to adapt seamlessly to new consoles. They also have a power base series of adapters for the Nintendo Switch as well. So go ahead and check those out. All that tech looks fantastic. Yeah. Okay. And I, I'm recovering from <laughs> whatever that Losers Finals was. And like I, it, it, I'm just being proven wrong today. I said it with Incendiate versus Omega, and then I said it again with Incendiate versus Boom. He's making me look like a joke in front of all of you guys <laughs> watching in the chat. And there's a lot of players who are into the scene. So what I'm saying about Incendiate versus these players is not incorrect because they've been watching even more than I have been watching. Mm. So, but when I see it, I just see that uh, Incendiate, who, like I said, basically is a Sonic Fox in the scene at the moment, who has been keeping up and just been ironing out the creases and just keeping himself clean. Mm. But he still has one more spot he needs to shine. Yeah, we're talking about metaphorical creases it's here. It's a coffee cause, stain. Because his opponent right now is coffee, who <laughs> had no creases to iron out. That was a 3-1 <laughs> set yeah, yeah. that coffee looked very dominant yeah. in after the first game. First yeah. game went through Incendiate, you know, looking in strong fashion as he always does. But after a couple interactions, particularly uh, under the influence with guard impact and uh, the uh, reverse impact, yes. Um, Definitely ruffled some feathers for Incendia. Yes. And uh, honestly, some people think, oh, you know, if he got tilted, that means he's like sweating, he's getting all upset. No, it's like very minor stuff. Very minor. But when you have a up. game that's so very tightly wound as Incendia is, just one thread it's getting out of line, getting snapped, history. can really make the whole thing. I don't want to say unravel. It wasn't a free set. No. Coffee still had to work his butt yeah, off of for it. But. The fact that it was a 3-1 is a statement, and right now Incendia is not only going to have to win a first to three for a grand finals. If he wants to take the tournament, he's going to have to win a first to three again yes. after this. 
So he is going to have a big uphill battle in that regard. But if anybody's up to the task, it is Incendium. It is him. What Let's get on. Oh, oh, the oh, perfect oh, stage, oh, you guys. Oh, oh, oh. We have the stage that Osteroth has his stomping grounds from. And let me tell you about this bad boy. It is going to be a doozy. Have you seen some movement? We're about to see some in a second. All right, things getting started right away. Both sides still playing pretty similar to one another. Nice launcher for Incendiate, getting good amounts of damage and the follow through. Okay, goes for the uh, the two. Mix up the two, goes for the three low. Tries to keep the momentum. Nice cancel into the step. Yeah. Coffee struggling to keep up a little bit. Tries to bring a little bit of their momentum and actually gets a nice clean hit. But no momentum for you, my friend. Incendiate is looking to take this first round. I still think he has an option. Okay, well, uh, forget my words. That's okay, y'all. I know if you guys in the chat don't listen to me yet, we ask me goes into it. Nah. <laughs> Everybody's listening to you right now because we need to understand what is going on here. Uh, so basically what's going on currently is that Incendiate, he feels some type of way off of that round, even though he won it. Um, and he's just trying to uh, keep his uh, dominant. He's trying, to, he's trying to get this back and reset as soon as possible. He knows he's in for a trip and he intends to win. Honestly, oh, hit. sometimes that momentum can just landslide like a steamroller. And that's yes. another round yes. for Incendia. And uh, it's an interesting bit. Uh, he was able to get that uh, Hori into the low. That actually took the meter that he's potentially going to be using for I guess, Soul Charge. Soul Charge does have startup. I know it seems like it's instantaneous. But uh, if you hit your opponents at certain times, you can't rob them of that resource. And that's demoralizing even still. Luckily, it's in the last round for Incendiate because he did get one free bar extra. If he did not, he would just be deprived of options at the moment. Now he has access to a Soul Charge. Now he has access to a ZE combo convention. But not looking like it's going to matter much unless he gets a certain... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. So round four. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be a doozy. Just these little these little innocent kicks getting so heavily whipped on it by coffee. But it speaks to his it speaks to his mental fortitude that he's just able to realize, oh, he's just going to do this. I'm going to sidestep and just go right into the cinematic and get the round. I think the sense of a great Soul Calibur player who's, who's getting a... Uh, uh, he's getting chopped when there's the proverbial tree. Oh, as he goes, just chops his offense right over there with the, uh, the GI. Ooh, so lucky he rolled that. That was a great defense attack, but he didn't want to deal with the mix-up. Ah, and he said, I'm going to do the same thing again. You can't avoid it at all. Tries to keep him on the ground. Goes for the grounded version of that so he can keep the Oki. Good Lord, Coffee is doing a good amount of damage. And take he's on the comeback. He Could he take the round? There it is. That's one of those uh, last second rounds where when you're there and you're only one hit away from losing and then you're afraid like he hasn't done nothing, he's going to hit me with a delay low. He did the low and then he just got smoked by the hit. The bid is always the one to take the last hit. We're going to use Soul Charge while we have this corner pressure going on. Oh, the guard impact again coming out. <laughs> Incendia is not thrown off I'm guard. telling you, I tell you, he did this last against Boom. He's just going to be impressive with it. He showed the first time that that, that is not, when you do that wrong, like that, that is not like <laughs> peripherally safe. Nice GI to GI. He's not checking him for that. And then when he was out of range for that, so it just whip punished him. Okay, gets a low. I, it's not, okay. I was going to say, it's not impossible for Coffee to take that round. Yeah. But the damage was already done. Incendia is going to take game number one in what could be a very long grand final. I was just surprised that he re uh, respected so many of those. Or oh, didn't at least try to get like positioning afterwards if he was too far from like an AA uh, counter attack or anything like that. Well, the man has the time to figure out what to do against plenty that time, situation. Because that that's going to come up again. If Incendia thinks he can win just doing that, he will do that. <laughs> okay, fake jump low. You love to see it. Nice block, but that's going to be safe from there because of the charge. Okay, that's a decent chip, though, so, oh, that's not going to matter if it's throws going through it. I like how simple you kept it up with. They were doing a lot of uh, movement for movement, tick for tap, and then he just runs up and throws him something that he didn't expect. Oh, but he just go, runs up and then just to the K. Good space. That's going to be confirmed into the wall. Oh. That have strategically moved from the first round for some reason. Okay, as we go. Uh-oh. I stuck. He had a sense that the uh, throw was coming. Avoided it. Good punishes so far. But even then, Incendia is not deterred. Trying to take the offense here. Trying to do some resets. Yeah, again with these lows. 
Doesn't go for the pestering, third one. Pestering, pestering. There's a full charge. Oh what God, a guard. That's, that's the eye! Ooh. So basically in that last sequence, he had a, he had a, a gauge where he was going to do the 6B strength. Mm -hmm. He walked up micro step, GI'd it. And then his mind game, he was playing the GI mind game. Where yeah. He was going to do the counter GI, so he ran up to kind of fake like he was going to do something. But then the universal Yernan smokes him. That was, that, this is the joy of high level caliber like that. Ooh. Where it just gets smooth like that. I love it. Good amount of damage on that read there. I stuck on that. I was the grab. I honestly feel like both these players are playing on the same level. Yeah, they're playing on the same level. Hey, a little, little low right simple. at the end there. Hit the low at the end of it. That's all you can do. Sinia yeah. talking to himself, and you're like, hey, yeah, good stuff. There's the low again. This one gets blocked. Incendia right now. Still finding ways to play. Surprised that he decided to stay low grounded after that uh, low maneuver. I know it put you in a crowded state, but uh, if you had to be dealing with mids, it's definitely good to be able to block high. Nice read off for that defense block. Mm. Hit after hit landing. Okay, that was nice but fun. Yep, keep it simple. Go yeah. CE. Take that round, even it up once again. Okay. Resources definitely on Coffee's side at the very least, but I don't feel like that's ever been a big factor, at least in their sets. Like, Incendiate uses their meter very, very fluidly. Yes. I think Coffee does use their meter, but, like, because Maxi has antiquated options for them when it comes yeah. into the, uh, the install, like, from the uh, vertical edge. Ooh, that's, that, as we're going to get now. As we're going to get now. That, that that's the example. Because he has so many uses for it, you're not going to see a lot of immediate soul charges from him as much. He's going to save it for tools like that yeah. where he can smoke them. I'm glad you brought that up. That was a great example. Look at these players corresponding with the commentator. We didn't even talk about that. But as we're going script. into it, even it up. Yeah, it, it's... This is a very dynamic set going on. And now it's in the immediate. It goes, all right, I'm done. No more of these ring up. <laughs> Changing the set. All right, as we're getting into it. Oh, try to avoid, but he actually gets smoked by that. And that's going to force him into a Clash 2, yes. Oh, and that's going to be a little bit of the guard gauge. He's already on yellow. Didn't even end the first round. See how much this guard gauge has gotten beaten up. You got to know that's the back of Insidious Mind. Mm -hmm. All right, near upset with a Raw Rising B. Ooh, and he's, that's the second time that happened. When he was going for a, a option that gets smoked by that crouch. It, it missed, and then he got hit. All right, that's a round for Incendiate, but we are one game apiece, and things are very evenly tied. I dig it. Check the AA. Mm. Doing a good amount of damage there. Oh, okay, there's God. the guard impact. GI. And that's the first GI that, you know what, Coffee's been able to follow through on. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for the rest of the sequence. Yeah. <laughs> Incendiate running with it, running to catch the rolling man on the ground there. I'm surprised he ran so long just to catch him in the protect situation. But no, I think I think at this stage in the game, the oh. type of choices that Incendiate is making is better. He's just blocking. He's just... Ah! Oh, not enough! That hit! Oh my goodness, yes, yes, that does get smoked. That does smoke that if that timing is off like that. But that was so... I don't even think Insidia oh, lost that round. I don't even think he's lost in another universe where that was like one, two seconds faster. Insidia won that round. Oh my god, he's at least catching back up though. He don't feel too bad about it. My god, oh, he's gonna feel that. bad about this. Oh, trying to go for the reset again. No, it doesn't work out. The ability. Of, uh, of neither side to get rattled fully by the intensity of what's going on. I dig it. All right, how's up? This is a lot of bubble spam. It's a lot of bubble spam. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bring it, bro. Bring That's it. it. <laughs> SpongeBob ain't the only person that got a bubble, bro. buddy. Oh, my God. Come on, guy. There we go. 2K. Just kiss already if you're going to be that close <laughs> to one another. God. It's playing games with my heart at this point. 
Oi, oi, oi. Gerald, the next guest character in Bikini Bottom. That was so much bubble, buddy. Oh my god. All right, checks him with the low. Counter hit. Yes, yeah, gonna uh, close it out. Uh, so round two, one in Incendia's favor. Ooh. One more match he needs to win in order to throw this bracket into complete disarray and give us a little bit more soul caliber. Call me taking a deep breath, going right back into it, looking confident. But is it enough? Mm. Honestly, Incendia is looking a good, strong in that start of the round. Coffee has been really good at fighting back, but honestly, the pressure was a lot more significant in their first game. What a sidestep, nice though! Yes. Okay, pushing towards the corner. GI is the only way he can do it. Counter GI does not work because it goes with the break attack. Seals the deal with the combo. Strikes blood first. I think, I think at this point, that M word we spoke of the day is in his favor. Ooh. Oh, he's so lucky. He had the timing right, but it actually whipped. That was nuts. You know what? Mistakes in the miracles at the end of the day, but I don't know how many miracles Coffee is going to be able to get. Incendia looks like he's on the war path at the moment, and it's going to be hard to stop. Oh, let's slow down, okay? Oh, I see. Out of that option right over there where he cancels into that normal into the bubble, that's what makes him nice. But he's very frame data when he just runs it wrong. Which is why he's struggling to actually contend against it. But it's not going to matter because he's going to have that second round. And this is going to make him one round away from taking it into a bracket reset. Bracket reset would be huge. Right now, Incendiate looks unstoppable. Uh, we could make him have to reset this bracket twice. And if he keeps just playing like this, he would easily take it. Oh, he's whiffing. He's thinking he's a lot more aggressive than what he claims to be. I like how he's box stepping, going back and then going towards the side oh. to make him win. Oh my god. He's in the corner, though. Not too afraid, though. Finds no. a way to challenge. No. Oh. Not too afraid? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, Incendi is not too afraid. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I got my back to the wall. I don't care. Doesn't matter. They immediately go back into it. Do not adjust, you guys, monitors or TV screens. This is a new set, new set where both of them are in losers. But now we have to see. That's gonna be a wall. No, oh, no, 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 no. That was an angle. That usually would do um, from a closer angle. That usually would do a wall. I saw a piece of wood flying somewhere, but you know what? We're gonna keep going. Uh, <laughs> Where did he get that wood from? We'll never know. I'll never know. <laughs> life is even at the moment. Coffee is still fighting for his life right now. But Incendia, again, that warpath he has been trailing, is scary to deal with. I dig it. Him over. Not enough to kill. Good block so far, but blocking will only get you so far, and that low seals another round for Incendia. Simeon showing what got him here through the dance, his bubble buddy, okay. Mm, that was a nice throw over there. All right. Nice check. This thing's gonna be great. Nice. Fantastic damage. That's exactly the type of combo you want to show you're still in this. Okay, throw's gonna go over there. That's gonna put him outside to a neutral state, but... Oh, but he was able to block that. Not a fantastic punish, though. Oh, so Maxi, um, as a character, doesn't get, like, the greatest wild rising punishes. Mm. Um, so you take what you can get, and then you bury it off with your turn over there. But it's not going to matter in that stuff. Okay, round number three now. And again, very little to stop Incendiate from just taking game after game. Okay, he interrupts that button over there. BB is the B for the guard gauge. Puts him over. Puts him over with the, uh, <laughs> the low. Again, tries to roll away. But it's not as if Incendiate is going for these, like, Hard reads on the wake. <laughs> you love to see it. Okay. And you said not hard reads on wake up, but uh, hard reads in neutral. <laughs> <laughs> the guard gauge is blinking like a warning light at this time. Man just has to take every hit that comes to him. Uh, okay, this is gonna be a knockdown into a into a guard. Hey. Oh my god! I, I thought this wasn't Street Fighter. <laughs> We're working on flash kicks. <laughs> Now this is my game. <laughs> now this is my game. I dig no, it. I As we're going into it, Insidious still does have the advantage, but Coffee showing he still has that flame left. Mm. Oh, try to attempt to go for a counter maneuver. Gets impact countered. Uh, Avoids it. Yeah. Ooh, whoa, the cameraman. Really, yeah. 
Not like in that situation, but coffee sure is. Yeah. Uh oh. Right uh, until that happened. Uh, oh, I got it. Oh, that threw off the axe for combo. That's okay. No, it's not. <laughs> That was a that was a Geralt the Rivia reset right there. That was a Rivia. Yeah. We're going to rematch for random select stage. Fair yeah, enough. yeah, yeah. Change it up. Um, the I'm surprised it took this long to be yeah, honest. Yeah, honestly, I'm surprised it took this long as well. Yeah. Especially for coffee, because uh, especially for both players, because this stage that's coming up, this stage has a lot of space for them to disengage whenever they want. As, in comparison to that stage where I can I call the box ring, they have to be oh, a lot oh, more enamored. Oh. <laughs> he just takes the time yeah. to walk over. Oh my god, he's off! And this is why you want this stage. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, like, the, the there's Insidious feeling. Like he was in the last game. Uh, there is a, when, he, when minor mistakes like that, he, he expresses himself. Mm. But he, he, he'll recoup quickly. Um, hopefully, it's not going to be an indicator of what this set is going to be in the second half because he did have that reset. He should be confident on that. Mm, there you go. Oh, nice duck over the horizontal options. Oh. Okay, he switches the sides. Look for the meaty. 2A. Ducks the grab. 2A. Yeah, we're both, neither of us want to be here anymore. I know. <laughs> I don't want to be here, Bob. Let's go home and play video games. <laughs> oh, man. Right. But we're gaming here at Defend the North in Brooklyn, New York. And that is a back throw for your troubles. Good amount of damage for it as well. Uh, but Ukemi out of it. A little bit of a left tap there. Oh, right on the back. Okay. Send it forward. Takes him outward. Spacing wise, that could have been a mean with punish. But doesn't get hit by the option. Oh, that's a C. 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 There was, there's a gap in between that move and when the fire comes out, but I'm so surprised. You know, that. I'll say it. I know I said it earlier. There's a variance between youth and experience, but that was young man reactions. I don't, you cannot say that was young man reaction. That it was, that it was indeed. But we are going to another <laughs> stage switch. Understandably so. Yo, I know why he has his tag now. Because, like, his brain is just naturally on coffee mode. That's crazy. As he drinks the Red Bull. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. Here we are once we are. again. One game apiece in our reset grand finals. Now, you could give credit to Coffee there. The momentum switch could be entirely in their favor, but the stage could spell their doom. Attack for Incendiate side. All right. Hmm. Smokes him off the back step. Now, he knew that he punished him heavily for that extended strength, so he was able to chase him off of the step because he knew he wasn't going to do that low kick into the high kick. Yeah, and with such a life lead here, we're going to go for safe pokes. And yeah. Dude, Damage by damage, paper cut him to death. So this is where a lot of victories and sets are made because now you get a little bit more antsy into trying to avoid getting hit. Where a lot of the small caliber plays using your like your smaller moves, your least risk moves, do a lot of more success in this range. And Cindia is scoring a lot, and I think Coffee is actually feeling the pressure of what's going on right now. See, okay, this is gonna be a more offense. Good amount of damage. Yeah, that's oh, out there. That's out there. Right. There you go. Good on them, though. You can keep, you can build walls, but I will get over them. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> nice for punch. All right, that could throw a little bit more damage because that is Kemi. <laughs> Look at these custom combos. That was really impressive. Back throw. All right, a mix of two away. Oh, no. In the corner. Well, oh, reset, wanted, yeah. Had he it, wanted had it again. Had he a wanted again. Had a risk. Had a risk. Yeah, 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 yeah. I respect it. Okay, okay, so that option, might not, but so I that option <laughs> would actually beat, like, the option that Cindy did last time and a couple of matches ago, uh, where he defended against that reset, but uh, he was cognizant of that and he just decided to it. It's actually very smart. All right. A little tap on the foot. A. Can we bring this the whole way, though? Set point right now in Incendiate's favor. Life fairly even. And with the resources on deck, either side can make oh a big play. Is that yeah, enough? Gonna confirm it that. Yeah. Is that the, is the scaling gonna me mess this up? Yeah. yeah unfortunately, oh, so. He's gonna put him through a screen like that, okay? Oh. 
taking a lot of damage. And right now, yep. I would take a sigh of relief if I'm Poppy. That man was not dead until he is dead. I That could have easily gone sideways. Oh my goodness, he hit that break attack. I question how that attack hit. I think that, you know, for all my days as a broadcast analyst of Soul Calibur, nice confirm off of there. I think sometimes these competitors just press buttons and they work. Hey, hey. Off the whiff grab throw attempt. Rich Robinson does the soul charge. He just runs in. Bubble. Oh, and this is the favorite part of the evening, ladies and Give gentlemen. Give me your bubble. Yes. Oh. What's the year done? Says you're done. If you don't block this mix. Oh, but he does. Second one. We're about to go back to Bubble City. <laughs> the, yeah. Doesn't want to okay. deal with it. Oh, oh he went for the yeah. bubble into the confirm. Going into the bracket reset. 1-1. One, one. And that's what happens. That's what happens when you're a bit too predictable to the on the Richter scale. So it took six games, Let's do this. but we're finally here. <laughs> the bubble has finally been popped. The bubble has finally, finally been popped. All right. I saw some people second guessing. How is Coffee on the winner's side? They were second guessing him after losing the initial grand final set. But now he is up a game. He's he is at, at me two as he says one. This I, I'm looking at you because that's my job. It's nothing accusatory. I promise. But yeah, we are at this point again. It's two one in the set. Coffee is at advantage, and right now he's running with the momentum. How does yes. Incendian stop this? How does he prevent the tilt from happening again, as Ooh, it did in Winners yeah. Finals? How does he stop it? I know we're at character select. I know we're stalling for time because the because the player needs time, and I respect that. I respect that a lot. But I, is it enough time? Uh, we're got. about to find out. <laughs> I don't have any answer for you or theory or a craft. And he's gonna, yeah. Here we are. What's the stage? All righty. As the both of them are trying to get enamored with it, we're about to play. Oh boy. I, I see a lot of places that we could go overboard, but maybe that won't even be a factor. Alright, and it says it right above. It is our true finals, and it is our true test to see who will be the best player for today. Soul Calibur 6, Defend the North 2023, could be potentially the final game for Coffee. And Deas' own Incendiate. Looking to have something to say about that. As he goes for the hit combo confirmed. Looking to go for this round. Oh my god, the throw gets beat by that. His positioning of that jump beat has been good back. Yeah, he's made great timing choices on that. But not enough. Oh, you know what? Maybe <laughs> maybe do it more. Do it again. Oh, oh the GI! Is he going to have enough? Oh, oh okay. my god. It was just too much damage taken in the early round. A good amount done in the latter half, but Incendiate still takes that first round. Nice. And well, SMB confirms off this hit. Mmm, GI. A little bit too soon for that low move. And so much blocking that's being done from Incendiate's part, where now you're in the red bar zone, but now he is controlling his um, offense. Now he has to be a little bit more active in movement. Not yet. Now he has to be a little more active in movement. Beautiful side. And side. that's going to be able to punish the movement from there. And that's going to go into the CE. And he's going to steal the route. You say stolen, but he made a lot no, of no, work Gerald there. No, no, Gerald said steal. He oh. said taste my steal. <laughs> there, fair enough. Fair that's enough. Fair enough. Okay. Set point right now for Incendiate, looking to even the games up to two all. Okay, that's going to be the lethal hit low set up for that. Okay. Starter. Mm -mm. Oh, avoids it. Taps him a little bit. Just these dash up blocks, really trying to bait something. Yes. Out yes. of Incendiate. Oh. There's a power in movement using... Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> you ain't gonna move there's a now. Power, <laughs> there's a power in hitting your opponent while they're cross-blocking into the game, and that's gonna be three rounds. Two. Two. You know, I think Coffee... I think Coffee's confused on the uh, score count at the moment. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. We're going straight keep into it, it. Yeah, keep it going. Keep it going. It's All right. two to two. This is the last game. Last set. 
Oh. We will see who's going to be winning. Yes, it is our true vinyls. Uh, okay, break attack goes into it. Break attack again. Now, this is uh, Coffee being aware of uh, the, the change of dichotomy that Obsidian has because he's being a lot more patient. Every time I make a point, man, these players just decide to be like, yo, yo, Duel, I know you're spitting right now, dog. But, uh, uh, yeah, man. We're playing. <laughs> we're playing. I know you're spitting right now, dog, but, like, you know, let me do my thing real quick. Keep to the plate. Play. <laughs> Keep to the plate. Play. Because we are moving at the speed of light at the moment. Coffee taking that first round. Going full screen, taking a moment, taking a breather. And now in comes Incendiate. Walks the advance. Gets the low and the low again. Okay. Nice with punish. But a lot more small cow chances, yeah. meaning that uh, they're not over committing. Because they do know that this is the last game either way. But that uh, with punish was definitely punishing an over to have over there. Checks the 2A off the site. Extended for that. I'm surprised that wasn't even A or a BB. What? Jump. That's a launcher. It's going to be skill. But it's going to bring it closer. It's going to bring him full screen, too. So he still has to get in there and do his thing. Now, what I would like for him to do is use the time against him. But he just went in. Yeah. Went he had the light in. lead. And I, I just wish he would have just used the time uh, for his advantage. So it's, it was Insania's turn to actually just uh, go in and make a mistake. I will say there are certain buttons that we've had seen calls for and answers for, but it's been that, that leaping strike that really has not been checked at all by Incendia. And you have to wonder how often that's going to come into play. But right now, it's Incendia's hands. We're close to the edge. Oh, we're trying to keep it there. Okay. Oh, is that a punish? Yes, it yeah. is. Tournament point for Incendia. Yes, it is. And we're looking at potentially one of these gentlemen being your Defender of North 2023 champion in the next 60 seconds or less. Okay, check him over with a couple of verticals. Stays on the ground this time. Insidious sniffs it out. Gets the counter hit. That's going to be towards... Is that enough? No, 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 it's not. It's not. Oh, it's not, my it's God. Not, it's not. Oh, Jump he got the leap. Oh, no. Goes in. He got to get out of the corner. Yeah, He's yeah. <laughs> I'll take that chance. The block! Oh my goodness! Beautiful. That's block. gonna be a launch! That and enough? that's gonna be the end! Oh, oh no! The bubble's not enough! Oh my god, if he rings him out right now, I'm gonna oh. scream, but no. Nope. That's not how it's gonna play out. Ladies and, and gentlemen. <sighs> what a night. Ladies and gentlemen, what a night. He Defend the North 2023 champion. That was so close. That was so close. Right up until the very end. I know, again, sometimes you can see, oh, it's three rounds in a row. But, man, every single round, things just could have gone so sideways. If if it, it, not even a bad mood had been made, yeah. but just like a, a guess was done differently. Something went a little bit the other way. And shout outs to Coffee for just pushing Incendiate to the breaking point. Yes. That's exactly what happened, actually. Oh, that's exactly what happened. Beautiful man. stuff. Beautiful and, stuff. And I wanted to say, uh, throughout my tenure with the Caliber community, having all the opportunities to commentate this fantastic game, uh, it's beautiful to see how these players just continue to show up uh, for the game. And I want them to continue to show up for the game. I uh, want you guys to also to continue to show up for the game by showing up for this match arena that we're about to have on the screen in a bit. Yeah, no, it no. is going to be Woo! our Soul Calibur 6. If you enjoy this entire bracket, top to bottom, from our winners to losers matches all the way to grand finals, please give the prize pool over there. We've got a decent amount for our competitors, but I believe we can do a little bit more. Please ask so gracious. If you are entertained in the coming hours, please don't. Absolutely. Now is your last opportunity. We're at $120, but I'd love to see it go a little bit higher before things wrap up here but that's our tournament ladies and yeah. gentlemen it has been a blast to say the least yes. thank you so much to defend the north for hosting everything here today thank you so much to everybody for showing up i've been the houseman uh you can find me at the underscore houseman fgc where you'll find me commentating things like soul caliber street fighter tekken you'll see me 
pretty much everywhere in the FGC. And I've been, it's time to do -do -do -do, duel uh, out here for you guys. Uh, trying my best to not pass out uh, from all of these uh, brackets that I've been commentating. Uh, you guys stay safe, be well, Godspeed. See you next time.